What's up? What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? So, I was sent a game, this game, Nembatus, the Space Drone Constructor game, by uh, uh, Strayfon Studios. They uh, they sent me this game. They I, I don't know. They just said like, hey, we noticed you played Besiege. Looks like you'd like this game. It comes out like on the 14th. Do you want to? Do you want it? And I was like, all right, sure. And they gave me the game. So I guess this is kind of like an ad stream, I guess. Am I, I don't know. I suppose that's what it is. So we'll call it that. Anyways, this is like a sneak peek. Sneak peek. At a game that's coming out, apparently. So, from what I understand, this is like a 2D besiege game in space where you build spaceships and like fuck shit up. And I'm kind of curious what exactly it is. Like, so let's let's start the fucking tutorial. Let's do this. Also, I, I, they, it's not paid or anything. So, I mean, I, I, they just gave me the game and like a couple keys. So, let's see what this is. All right. Uh, Nary, thank you for the 32 months, dude. This isn't BAM Crossing. This is Shill Crossing? Bro, I'm not even being fucking paid. <laughs> they just gave me a game. Let's see, basic tutorials. These tutorials teach you the basics of drone building, combat, and resource collection. Skills essential for the survival mode of the game. If you're new to Nimbatus or construction games, we recommend that you play these tutorials first. Okay. Drag thrusters and fuel tanks from the panel at the bottom onto the canvas and attach them to your drone core. To use your thrusters, you also have to assign a key to them. Use your mouse wheel to rotate the parts. Use the arrows on the right to go to the next page. Okay. Press the key you assigned to activate your thrusters. Oh, this is... Oh, look at it go. If you have trouble controlling your drone, try building it symmetrically. Turn on the center of mass indicator located in the top left if you need help with the symmetry. Touch and activate all red beacons to finish this tutorial. Okay, so... You have to drag thrusters onto it. And fuel tanks. Oh, this is kind of like nuts and bolts, I guess. Hmm. Desert, are you saying if I send you a free game, you'll play it? I can't guarantee I'll play it. I might say, all right, maybe I'll play it. But this one actually looked really interesting, so I decided to give it a go. What is skin transparency? Can you... Can you, like color your things okay so hold on thruster medium fuel tank so let's add a fuel tank here uh you need to activate wait where is the fuel tank this is fuel tank right oh this is okay he added a thruster this is the fuel tank so i have to like just have it hanging out here like this no, it doesn't. It has to go to the top. Huh? <laughs> I I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying real hard. Okay. It's going to have two thrusters. Actually, you know what? That looks stupid. Let's do it like this. That way, like... The engine's in the back, right? This is our fuel tank in the back, completely vulnerable. And then these are our two thrusters. Perfect. Nothing could go wrong. Does it? That's just the Enterprise. <laughs> Make it so. Okay. Oh shit, wait, I didn't give it buttons. <laughs> Hold on. To activate the thruster, I have to add key. So like, I don't know. I guess I'll give this tank controls, so W. But then it's only gonna go, it's only gonna go forward. Wait a minute, what? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is complex. I like this already, actually. How can I, can I rotate? I need to rotate. The, um... The thruster. Can I do that? This is like a skin? Drone skin. 
this game is too big brain for you, dude. But maybe, maybe so. But I'm still gonna try and have fun with it. So far, I think this is kind of neat. The concept for it is something I really like. I just got, I gotta get used to what it, what it wants me to do. How to rotate. It's got some good synth music. Oh, wait, I should probably look at the things on the... <laughs> F. Press F. Flip vertical. Flip horizontal. Oh, there we go. Okay. Rotate. <gasps> there we go. Perfect. Rotate. Banana. There we go. Is there a way... Okay, you can copy. Oh, shit. I... <laughs> This is actually really intuitive. And then you will make it like that. So these will be like our rotator jets. So we'll make this one is A and this one will be D. But then I should also add another thruster here that will be our, like, reverse thrusters, so we can, like, correct any big mistakes. So I'll make that S. So WASD controls, right? Let's try it. <laughs> it's a turtle! <laughs> P will be our shoot button. Wait a minute. I feel like the controls are a bit reversed. Hold on a second. I accidentally fucked this up. This needs to be D. And this needs to be A. Okay, now let's go. Does he need to learn how physics work? This is a great way to learn how physics works. Perfect. I like turtles. This is the best ship. This is the best ship ever made by, by modern man. Move over, John Enterprise. Star Trek, who? I'm like the best ever. Look, buddy, I'm an engineer. Okay, cool. Battle. Okay, so there's fights in this, too. Build a flying drone like in the first tutorial and attach weapons and batteries to it. Don't forget to assign a key to your weapons. Destroy all green targets that finish this tutorial. So this is basically Besiege, but like 2D top down and end in space. Yeah. Which is honestly kind of a really nice approach for this because I feel like two dimensions makes these games a lot more accessible which is why I was interested in this um and I've heard that like is why like you know why Mario Maker and stuff like that is so accessible too it's because like you people are generally more able to learn and absorb like information in the, on the, like the 2D plane because the third dimension adds like a whole new layer of complexity that kind of like makes it m way more difficult for people to like adapt and learn to so I mean this is nice I kind of wish I didn't have to have these hanging out though can I just like slap these in here Nope. There's an explode button. Okay, so these have to be, like, kind of hanging out. How do I keep these safe? I feel like these are very vulnerable out here. Tank fool. So what- wait a minute. What is, like, battery full, battery empty? Why would you have keys for these? Huh. I'll put, like, lasers here. That way I have, like, two lasers. And now I need to rotate this one. And there you go! I still feel like having the engine, like, the gas canisters, canis canis canisters, canisters just, like, exposed to the back here. It couldn't be a problem. It's like a spider. Okay, so now I have to set the thruster keys. W. W. Uh, whoop. Hold up. We needed this one to be D. 
This one is A. This one is S. And then these... Rotation, cursor, fixed? Wait. Oh, you can make it the mouse button. Fixed and cursor. Oh, so you can make it like it aims for your cursor, or you can make it like it just shoots from a fixed position. Says it, the mouse isn't a button. Yes, it is. Watch. Look at that. And they move. They move to the mouse. They aim. Oh, this is, this is neat. This is neat. I like this. Okay. I got to set the other one, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I like this game already. I'm wondering what kind of puzzles it's going to throw at me. So far, these are like, you know, just basic tutorials. Oh, I ran out of ammo. So how do I get more? Oh, it fills up over time. Okay. It has to charge. <sighs> Anyways, how has your guys' day been? What you all been up to? This is starting to look like Geometry Wars. A little bit. It's pretty cool, though. I like the idea of building your own ship. Okay, cool. That's done. I'm a master. Advanced building? Ooh. Link parts together by dragging them onto other parts to build bigger and more complex drones. Ooh, okay. Linking too many parts to a single one may make your drone unstable. Shorter connections are more stable than longer ones. Find a way to touch all the beacons at the same time to finish this tutorial. You're grinding in DQ11. You're planning your Animal Crossing Island. You're waiting for the Animal Crossing stream. <laughs> I'm playing this today. I don't know what I'm going to be playing after this, though. I might be... I'm kind of feeling like playing Risk of Rain or something, to be honest. Today's just like a whatever day. Okay, so I have to hit all the targets at the same time? Let me s Okay, so... Yeah, it's like a cross pattern. So I have to navigate into there first. Did you try Super Mash yet? No, I haven't. I have not tried Super Mash. Okay, oh, okay, so you click on that. And that... You click on this... Part, and then that lets you attach. to that part, so... I mean, I don't need this... attached to there, necessarily. Have you tried Seaman 2 yet? Oh, I'm not the Seaman streamer. That's Sphinx right now. If you want to see that stream, which is really good, you should head on over to his chat. I don't know if... I don't think he's streaming right now, though. You probably won't see anything if you go there. So what if I just, like, made, like, a star shape? Like this. Wouldn't, wait, wouldn't this work? Yeah. But this won't rotate, though, right? Because it's, like, all... It's all, uh... Perpendicular, right? So it won't have rotational, like, a power. Oh, I don't, I didn't set the buttons. I should set them off axis a little bit. Like that. Or... Wait. Yeah. So that way it turns that way. Okay, cool. This works. And then... Put that down. Put that down. There you go. And... I need a reverse thruster, too, just in case. 
Where should I put it? Like, right here? Or maybe, like, I should attach it to the main body. Oh, you can do stuff like that. Oh, okay. You can just have parts overlap and shit. Got it. That's cool. Very good. I'll extend these out a little bit. Says her draw a penis. I'm not going to make a penis! Stop! I am- I am making a very good ship. And Elon Musk will be jealous of my creation. It'll be great. Everyone will want one in the future. Oh, I can turn up the saturation or turn it down even. What? This is such an extra option, but I love it. We can make it purple. Purple! Yes. This is good. This is good. This is good. Ooh. Kind of like that. And then I can change the grid color too. Set it to whatever pleases you. Make a big butt. I don't want to make a big butt! Chat! This is a very serious game! It's a very serious game about engineering your spaceships. Okay, so... Is this... Will this work? No, that's way too baby. That's way too fucking tidy. Oh wait, did I not set the... The thrusters on... Oh, I don't have fuel! What am I doing? Forgot the fuel again. Okay, now! So we have to activate them all at the same time, huh? Okay, just, so just... That's easy. We'll just extend these out a little bit. Give it some reach. Reach! There. Is that enough? Ah, oh, fuck. Almost. Just a little more. Just a little more. <laughs> oh, that's too far. Oh, it was telling me not to make things go too far. It gets unstable if you do that. Got to be careful. I think I'll, I'll like... I'll make it the circumference of this circle. Can I move this? Yes, with the right click. It needs more length. Long. Here we go. This is probably not the intended solution, but okay! <laughs> Beautiful. I make my own solutions. It probably is the intended solution. Oh, okay. I just, I figure I'm too stupid for these games, so I do these always the wrong way. Resource gathering. All right, now this is interesting. Attach a resource tank and resource collector part to gather resources. Empty the full resource tanks into the container by flying over it. Collect the required amount of resources to finish the tutorial. There are two kinds of resources in this game. They can be exchanged for a variety of cool stuff, depending on the game mode. Foxbox, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Desert Toad is pointing at you. No, he's not. That Toad picture has never pointed at me once. I don't know what you're talking about. Toad is, might be pointing at you? Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Take a look at this. Take a look at this picture. It's magical. Okay. I'm gonna, po I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. And it's gonna be of Toad, alright? Now, the properties of this picture are very special. If you are guilty... No, wait. If you are not guilty, you'll just see a normal toad just standing there, looking happy. But if you are guilty, you'll see toad pointing at you accusingly. What do you see, chat? What do you see? Guilty of what? Crimes. He's just standing there. He's pointing right at me. <laughs> He's pointing and smiling. 
you just see a happy toad. He's just chilling. Some of you are very guilty. Some of you are very guilty. I don't know, chat. What have you done? What have you done? I can't imagine the devs ever like coming into this stream. <laughs> They're gonna come in here and be like, what the fuck is he doing? What are you guilty of, chat? Confess your sins! Okay, let's add lazy beams, uh, a resource tank. These all have like HP values. I assume you'll get in fights in this game. Um, resource tank. Resource collector. Put that there. Collect gets like a key. Okay, so I'll make that like right click. How about that? And this is the front of the ship actually facing that way. So let's, let's organize this a little bit. I like how easy it is to manipulate things. Sometimes simple is very effective. Just a simple layout. Can add so much. Put a thruster there. Put a thruster here. Put a thruster here so it like can turn a little bit. Put one here. If a part is red, what does that mean? Oh, we, what does that mean? Does that mean it's it can't go there? It's not okay? I guess it's fine now. I'll put those like that, and then... I suppose it should- this should be in front, right? Because... This'll be like... Our little suck vacuum thing. It'll suck up the resources. Like a schnozzle. It'll be like an ant-eater. An ant-eater. Okay, make this one W, make this one W, make this one... B? Make this one A, and this one S. And then, I don't think we were given laser beams, actually, so I'm just gonna make that left mouse for now. Cool, that seems great! Perfect! It's beautiful! <laughs> My very powerful robot son. Okay. I, did I- did I gather the resources? It's not letting me suck anymore. How do I suck more? Chat, how do I suck more? Help! Oh. Ooh! What the hell are you doing? Oh, you- When he's filled, you must- you must take him to the- the deposit station. I get it. You have to suck and then poop. <laughs> Does it? You made a bee. Oh god, I did make a bee. Are you out of your fucking mind? Cool. Okay. I have learned everything there is to learn about this game. I am now a master at Nimbatus. Also, again, thank you, devs, for sending me your game. That's very nice of you. They didn't give me any terms either. I was just like, so I can just play this? You don't want me to say anything? You don't care what I do? And they're like, nope. Have fun. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Logic parts. So there's logic in this game, too? These tutorials are not required to play the survival mode. Let's try logic parts.
Here your keyboard and mouse inputs are blocked. Build an auton automatic drone that can fly in a straight line without your input by using the button part. The button part simulates a key press, so assigning the same key to your button part and your thrusters will activate them automatically. Oh, Besiege had something like this. Let's see. I'll add thrusters here. Button. I guess I'll put this here and then make it W and then that's W and then that's W and I put this here and then we launch. Look at it go! Wow! Damn boy, you fast! Hey Connor, happy Mother's Day to you too. What did you get for Mother's Day, Connor? I got the Bottas. <laughs> Sensor parts. Build a drone which automatically detects targets with the provided sensors. Use the outputs of sensors to activate the weapons. Destroy all targets to finish this tutorial. Okay, so we can have automatic turrets? That's kind of neat. Increase the distance setting of the sensors if you have trouble detecting the targets. I got a new baby that I am the mother of. Oh, congratulations, Connor, on your new baby. What happened to the old one? Kinetic long laser. What? Fucking laser beams? Distance sensor? Distance void. Ole. I got sick of the little freak. <laughs> Cut her. Shut up. That's so mean. You mean you didn't trade them in at GameStop? Dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Could have gotten GameStop points. I would have traded them in at GameStop. But I'm pretty smart. I'm a lot smarter than you, Connor. <laughs> so I'm not surprised you didn't do that. Okay, is this- is this gonna work now? Oh wait, shit. I didn't set the- the detection event. Um... Press key. I don't know, left mouse? Left mouse? Shoot, left mouse? Is this how this works? Whoa! Okay, I think I understand. You need to like... I gotta- I gotta have- to, I'm gonna have to like make a bunch of these facing different directions. So one goes this way. Put this here. So that has to be like that. One laser and make the drone spin. Uh, well, I don't have thrusters in this one, so it's it's just stationary drone. Uh, actually, you know what? I can just copy and paste this. I like that feature. That's a good one. All right, just need like, so you need one here facing up. This one faces down. Well, actually, no, you only need to detect one, really. If they're all firing at the same time, it shouldn't fucking matter. So, left mouse, right mouse. Oh wait, no, not not right mouse, just left mouse. Okay, that should that should work. What the fuck? Why is it spinning? Wait, what is it doing? I didn't authorize this action. Spin! <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it doing that? Wait. Is it, is it because the laser beams generate thrust? Wait, is the laser generating thrust? I, I don't understand. Why, 
why it spin though? I'm, I'm trying to figure out why that happened. The lasers are light. It shouldn't. I don't. I didn't. I didn't set it to spin, chat. I didn't set it to spin. It must be generating some kind of kinetic force. Yeah. Oh, wait, now it's not. So what happened? Wait. I don't know why my voice got all, like, fucked up there. Wait! Wait, look. Aha! You know what it is? I figured it out. This is kind of weird, but... So when this is clipping into the, um... The base... It's, like, pushing it or something. That's interesting. Is that a bug? I don't know if that's a physics bug. That's a little weird. I guess I get it. Why would it be pushing into it, though? Huh. Yeah, it must be creating some kind of collision, but it generates just enough force to make it rotate. Bug, if true. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they should take a look at that. Overall, though, I'm very happy with this creation. You could make a car powered by collision. I did that in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> You could do that with the minecarts. Put a red laser on the other side and see if it spins the same direction. Oh shit, I already exited out. I'll, I'll try it later. Autonomous racing basics. The VTOL thruster provides thrust towards a specific target. Select next waypoint in its setting and it will keep itself on track. Cross the finish line to complete this tutorial. Once again, your input is deactivated. Use the button part to activate the thrusters. Okay. Oh yeah, you can zoom out too. Okay, cool. You don't know if it's a bug, if it's more just the side effects of the physics. The bug might be launching it though, yeah. I don't know. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. So this is a thruster. Rotates automatically to the target. Huh. So you set it to next waypoint? And then we activate it with the left mouse key. Copy paste to here. And then it just needs some fuel. Uh, a little bit of fuel and I'll see you later. And then this will simulate a button press and go. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> what is it doing? Actually, that's doing really well. What the heck? I've done it. I've created an AI more intelligent than any human, more intelligent than any creature that has come before it. This is the future of robotics. Tutorial accomplished, hell yeah. I, Wobot. You? Gangaga. Back to menu. Advanced autonomous racing, okay. The directional sensor points towards a spe specified target. Set the sensor's target to next waypoint and use its two outputs to activate two sideways thrusters to keep your drone on track. Add forward thrusters and a button part for the needed acceleration. <laughs> okay, so... Directional sensor. This, this is some complex stuff, fellas. I don't know. So we set this towards... Waypoint? Next waypoint? Okay. And then... Uh... Like that. Your brain is too small for this. I think this is actually rather intuitive. It's rather easy to learn. I like this a lot already. And then we'll need this here. Okay, so make this a left click. This is also left click. This is also left click and then Can I see the, um... Wait, toggle center of mass. 
Oh, really? You can see that? Oh, okay, that's cool. Recenter camera. See the instructions one more time. So what does this thing do? Huh. This is a very big-brained machine. I, I guess I need to put this here. Retro Combine, thank you very much for the 15 months. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm missing subs and stuff. TRNB, thank you for the 17... Uh, the 10 months? That was like 17 minutes ago. Hey, Desert, this game is fun. My friend gifted it to me a while ago. Yeah, I actually really like this. I... Thank you very much. I'm sorry I missed your sub. That was like almost 20 minutes ago, but yeah, no, that this is cool. I guess they've been giving this game out for a while. So far, it's pretty polished. Unknown, thank you for the bits, and, and again, Retro Combine, thank you for the 15 months, dude. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I think this is only on Steam right now. Uh, but it comes out on the 14th. Okay, so, wait. So, Tilted Right... So, Tilted Right... Am I, like... A and D? I I'm very dumb, so I'm gonna take a minute to learn this. Activates the output key. So what should this be, then? Uh... Oh, God. Set the sensor's target to next waypoint. Use its two outputs to activate two sideways thrusters. Okay. So it sets them up like that. That one's A. A and D. So what do you make this one? Oh, 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 okay. But then what are you making this one? Oh, that's just the normal one. This one just goes forward. Got it. Okay, I, I understand. This needs to be facing this way. This needs to be face. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Naruhodo. A and D. Where are you from again? I'm from all over the damn place. I grew up in Baltimore, um, but I mean, I've lived in California. I'm in Texas now. I've been all over the fucking country. Never been comfortable. Always moving. I like where I'm at now, though. Texas is nice. Me? Gongaga. Okay, so this will be left mouse. So this should work then, I think. <laughs> Maybe not. Whoops. Hold on. What did I... Something's wrong. Uh, fall back. Set the sensor's target. Uh... Set it to next waypoint. It's set the next waypoint. What did I fuck up? I don't know what I fucked up, chat. Okay, hold on. A. D. Tilted right? Yeah, this one's A. Rotate the sensor so red is on the bottom and orange is on the top. Red is on the bottom? And orange is on the top? Rotate the set. What? Oh. Jesus! Uh. Did I do it? Inside the circle. Huh? <laughs> This might be the limits of my brain power, fellas. It's more of a pink than an orange. Oh, so you're saying the middle thing, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Set it to tolerance of one. Uh, that didn't work either. Tolerance of 114. Go! Nope! It's not the tolerance that I need to adjust. What do I need to adjust here? It was already at one. Okay. Uh. 
You need the pink or red rotated 90 degrees. So, wait, like, like that? But that's not what it showed on the box. Uh, oh. Like, like that? <laughs> Go look at the tutorial again. The dev is like, oh god, we sent this game to the wrong fucking person. <laughs> Oh yeah, they did kind of rotate it. Uh... It was set to like... 10 though. So like that. Right? And now I put this like this, and like this. Yes, oh, okay, good, good. I, I, Naruhodo. Can you like multi-select? Yeah, you kind of can. Hold shift. Here we go! <laughs> Wait, it's just set up right. Okay, that's A. And that's D. Your button is linked to the wrong thing. Wait, it is? You have them backwards. Oh no. Oh God. My brain's expanding, Kermit. Oh shit, there we go! Woo! Look at he go! Oh shit! Damn, he just vibing though. I fucking got it! I fucking got it! <laughs> it's like a snake! Wiggle, wiggle, yellow metal. That's what I want to be. Geometric Starman, thank you for the 21 months. Hello, Desert. Are you making the flying Nimbotis from D DBZ? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, now that I've done the tutorial, let's try the single player. Also, thank you, Geometric Starman. That's very kind of you. Okay, so start a new game. Survival? Sure. I guess this is like a roguelite, too? Uh, explore the universe. Collect drone parts and resources to become stronger and smarter, all while trying to survive. Uh, okay. Let's start a new game. Uh, let's set it to normal, and uh, let's go! Hey, Desert, I've been sick all day and feeling like ass. But your stream already made my day way better. Thanks for being a wholesome lizard. Oh, well, thanks, dude. I thank you for telling me that. I'm sorry your day's been bad, but I'm glad I could make it better. Welcome. The desire to explore new territories has ridden deep down in the DNA of mankind. And so after the conquest of the vast oceans, people found a way up to the stars. The Russian satellite Sputnik in 1957, the manned moon landing of Apollo 11 by 1969, the colonization of Mars in 2071, and the first successful travel through a wormhole in 2120 were all crucial milestones in the history of space exploration. But none of these were as promising as what lies ahead of us. Beep. The Nimbotis, the biggest mobile drone factory ever made, is finally ready to be sent in out into space. With what it's one of a kind hyper warp drive and self-sustaining resource gathering systems. It is able to leave the safe zone within seconds. This is where you, Captain, come into play. You are tasked with commanding the Nimbatis and designing drones to explore the endless expanses of the universe so that mankind may learn from your discoveries. Hi, Desert. I shaved my head bald. How's your day? Toaster Man, why did you fucking do that? <laughs> Actually, I think Mono did that the other day, too. Just felt like it. Oh, okay. That's cool. Dai Suze. Thank you for the gift sub. That's very kind of you. It's an honor to have you on board. Fasten your seatbelt. The Nimbatis is ready for takeoff. In three, two, one. Brass off. In space. 
price. Nobody can hear you. Hear you, hear you. A final frontier. <laughs> Oh, you switched over to Void Bastards? <laughs> no! I kind of want to play that, though. <laughs> what?! Oh, no! Well, I, it looks like I lost. You were attacked by the Corp, an unscrupulous intergalactic tech company. They disconnected you and s they disconnected and stole your warp drive, leaving you stranded in an uncharted region of space. You are currently in the orbit of this planet. To track down the Corp and retrieve your warp drive, you have to travel through the universe using these wormholes at the end of a galaxy. Oh, worm? You progress through the galaxy by collecting the required amounts of intel in a solar system. What, not AMD? Intel is gained by completing missions on planets within that system. The amount of intel obtained from completing a mission is displayed here in the form of triangles. The strongest shapes! More challenging missions usually grant more intel. Look at all these triangles, Mr. Freeman! The triangles will guide us through this puzzle. Here you can see the mission's name, completion status, and rewards. Click this button to visit the planet. Okay. Yo, holy smoke, is that Benny Worm? Benny Wormhole? This is the location screen. Okay. Select drone. Here you can see information about your current location. And more detailed information about the current mission. Okay, click here to proceed to your hangar and select a drone for the mission. Got it. This is your drone hangar. Since you haven't constructed any drones yet, it is currently empty. Create a new drone, idiot! Okay, drag thrusters, fuel tanks from the panel at the bottom onto the canvas and attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make your shit. When you are happy with your drone, you can test it by clicking test flight. Got it. If you're having trouble, you can open this tutorial. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so in the main game, looks like you have limited parts, and I assume you scavenge more of them. So we have a baby fuel tank. Little tiny baby one. Slap that on there. Holy shit, Daizus, thank you for those 10 gift subs, my god! Thank you very much, that's incredibly kind of you. I appreciate that a lot. I hope everyone who got those, like, you know... Says thank you to you. Seriously, that's very nice of you. Okay, I'm gonna make little thrusters here. Funny little thrusters. And here. But no, really, that's very kind of you. The, the support really does help the stream, you know, keep going and stuff. And Especially right now. Thank you. Oh, you, but you can add multiple fuels. Okay, so like, I can I can cover my ship in fuel. This is a lot like nuts and bolts, but like 2D. I hope that game gets ported someday. I think I would really enjoy nuts and bolts. Hey, Desi, what is your audio setup like? Uh, you, you don't want to know. <laughs> A nightmare? Not simple, nor cost-effective. Over the top for streaming, absolutely. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I didn't set reverse thrusters, did I? Nope. This is uh, S, that's D, that's A, that's W. This is also W, got it. Okay, cool. I now have a very nimble ship. Neat. Gravity, none, air resistance, normal. Okay, wow, there's a lot of, like, things here. Save and exit, sure. Once you have selected the drone, 
You can click here to launch it, okay? Or go back here to improve upon it. Got it. Can I name it? Can I name my new drone? Uh, Toidle. That's, this is the Toidle. The Toidle one. Zero, zero, one. No, wait. Better idea. S.S. Bentley. <laughs> zero, zero, one. Or should it be, hold on, no, that's not right. It would be Mark 1, right? Wouldn't that be it? The SS Bentley, Mark 1. Ship back. One day, we'll slay the gods. <laughs> there you go. There's your PMD reference. Okay, launch drone, plus 4% threat. What is a threat? Confirm drone launch. Indicates how close the corp is to you. High threat can lead to an attack. What? How much space cash do you have right now? That's a personal question. I don't want to answer that. That's like none of your business. <laughs> Whoa. Explore the planet by uncovering the mini map. Oh, there's like whole fucking planets and Oh shit, this is this is cool. Is this procedural? I saw a trailer of like them blowing shit up on the planet too and it like explodes kind of like Noita, which made me like kind of interested in this. Yeah, it is it is like Noita. You can like fuck up the terrain and stuff. It's like that Mario fan game that got taken down. What what Mario fan game that got taken? Wow. What is this? I found strange red crystals. Whoa. Okay. I might I might need to adjust my thrust power. Whoa. <laughs> Little baby backup thruster. Wow. Nice. Explore the planet completed. Okay. Holy shit. Loot boxes. Fuck yes. This game has everything. You don't remember what it was called, but it was like Mario 1, but 2D and like this. Oh, you mean the Mario 1, like on a sphere game? That like fan game thing? They made a bunch of those. I think there was one like where it was in a donut shape. Yeah, I think um, Vin played that. That shit was cool. It was just Mario 1, like, played on geometric shapes. <laughs> Congratulations on completing your first mission. You now have access to the next system. Great! Click any uncovered location to see what awaits you there. Ah, uh, okay. You can travel to a selected location by clicking the travel button, but be aware that traveling also increases the threat level. <laughs> 48% threat. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. Uh, this kind of looks like the Risk of Rain ship. I've been playing the Switch version of Risk of Rain 1. You probably know that if you've been following my Twitter. I was up all night playing it. <laughs> That's still such a good fucking game. In this mission, you'll need to be able to shoot at targets. Okay meaning you'll have to construct a new drone or upgrade your old drone with the parts you received as a reward in the previous mission. Okay, the SS Bentley will now be able to attack. On this mission, your drone needs to be able to shoot. To do that, attach the weapons and batteries you received in the last mission to it. Don't forget to test it in test flight before you launch it. Okay, be aware that if you go above 10 drone parts, it will cost you a certain amount of Tritium, the yellow ore, to construct and launch your drone. Oh, interesting limitations. I like that. If you're having trouble, remember that you can open the Toriel. Okay. Toriel from Undertale? She's in this game? Wow. This game really does have everything. Okay, give it uh, the shoot. A pew pew. 
Yep, yep, yep. Shoot with left mouse. Shoot with left mouse. Scott! Wow, it's already, like, set up and everything. Yeah, something about Besiege that was a little weird was, like... It was a game where you just built shit, but, like, it didn't, like, try and make you work with less. Like, you could just kind of, like, go nuts with it. And while that's a fun, like, idea, after a while I felt like I was just developing, like, really absurd... over-the-top machines... that could just solve anything, and the game kind of becomes a little bit samey. This seems to make you want to work with limitations. So you can design different ships and shit. That's cool. I like that style. Okay, we're good. I will launch! Go! Oh wait, no, I got it. This is the Bentley Mark II! Go! Locate the black box. All right. Is that it? I don't, that looks like a box to me. This is the wreckage. Am I destroying it? Okay. Black box has been defeated. Or not? Never mind. No, I don't think that was it. Uh, yo, look at that. There's like gold in these hills. There's gold in them hills! Yeehaw! I'm like an old prospector. Am I destroying this? Nope. Maybe it's this one. I'm assuming one of these has it. Yep, that's it. Got it. So now what? I've located it. Back to Nimbatus. So I just go back. Okay, cool. So it gives you little objectives, and then you complete them, then you go back and you modify your ship. Got some crystals. When you see a sparkling location like this one, it means that there's something special there. Try clicking this one to see what it is. It's a garage. Try traveling there. A space garage? <gasps> Oh no! The corpus caught up to you and opens fire. A few shots hit you and you managed to penetrate the hull. Oh, you managed to escape once more and the enormous ship loses sight of you for now. So you can take damage randomly, I guess, depending on your threat level. What happens when you hit zero? Don't hit zero, Gordon. In garages, you can repair and upgrade your Nimbatus using unobtainium. Oh my god. Isn't that the fucking resource from Avatar? <laughs> That's it from the J.J. Abrams movie Avatar? The red ore you received as a reward in the previous mission. Tritium and unobtainium can be obtained through mission... Unobtainium can be obtained? Through mission rewards or mining. Desert, you mean James Cameron. Oh, wrong James. Sorry. Wrong, wrong J initial. For a more in-depth explanation on the process of mining, we recommend that you play the dedicated resource gathering tutorial accessible from the main menu. Okay, right now you only have enough unobtainium to repair some of the damage to your hull. If hull integrity drops to zero, then Nimbatus and the game are lost, so repairing it is always a good idea. Click the repair button to spend the unobtainium and repair the hull. Got it. Okay. So I have repaired my hull. Good job. Now all that remains is clicking on that wormhole to travel through it and enter the next galaxy. Okay. Travel. Eh. Uh, connecting to ground control. To Major Tom. Ground control. Attempt failed. Restarting connection. Attempt. Uh. Uh-oh. Manual control system. Okay. Please enter user credentials. What? What is this system? Choose your captain. 
As the former heavyweight boxing champion of Mars, you are used to taking a punch or two without getting knocked out. You joined the Nimbatus program because a tough mission needs a tough captain. 100% drone part health, bigger and stronger energy shield. Okay, so these are like loadouts. They get different starting items too. Pilot, you used to steal the show at major air acrobatics tournaments and are looking for a new adventure. You applied instantly when you heard that the Nimbatus is carrying a unique hyper warp drive. 100% thrust improved afterburner. Batteries recharge faster when going over 200 miles per second. Meters per second. So fast? That's the speed boy. Miner. Formerly one of the best miners of the corp. You started having stabs of conscience about their shady business. To work in the name of science and space exploration is just what you need. Plus 100% resource mining efficiency. Improved drill collects resources. Okay, so that's good for, like, resource missions, but I, I, I assume you can't swap out your captain. Or maybe you can. Having worked for many well-known military and scientific institutions, you are able to improve and modify all kinds of technology, making you an ideal candidate for the Nimbatus program. Batteries last longer and power thrusters. Researchable weapon technologies. Oh, that's kind of neat. 200 meters per second equals 447 miles per hour equals 720 miles per hour. You mean kilometers per hour. Yeah. Uh, engineer. I'm an engineer. You first started building drones at the age of five and haven't stopped improving your engineering skills ever since. Constructing complex creations is now no problem for you, and you are quickly accepted into the inner circle of potential captains. Minus 50 deploy cost. Wireless fuel, energy, and resource transfer. Wireless. Eh? A peculiar creature. A programmer? Part biological. Part mechanical. No one knows where you came from, or if you were ever human. But your advantages are obvious. You can build drones that are fully autonomous. And you can build a lot of them. Only recommended for expert players. Unlimited fuel parts. Unlimited parts and no deploy cost. Wireless fuel, energy, and resource transfer. Only autonomous drones. No manual control allowed. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you get all, like, the parts. As many as you want. But you better automate it. You, you, you're an expert, Desert. You can do it. This is like the Omega Brain character. This this is a character that Desi P will never be able to pilot correctly. Programmer or coward? Ah, uh, let's see. Logic parts, sensor parts, kinetic blaster, an all-purpose weapon. There's like different weapons and stuff too. Plasma Flamethrower deals extra elemental damage. What the fuck? That's cool. Giga Drill. Drill. I kind of like this. Effective at carving through terrain. Yo, I can turn this into fucking Noida? Kind of want that. The pilot gets spikes. I kind of want to be the engineer. Look, buddy. I'm an engineer. Actually, I want to be the miner. I think I'm going to go miner. Let's mine. Mine. Oh. I got... I got... Muns. More muns. Okay, Steve. Why don't you go back to Minecraft? Uh. Oh, that was a cool noise. Let's see. Shakara. Uh, where am I now? This is me now. I'm at Uranus 2. <laughs> Visit location. Mission is to locate the black box. All right. Select drone. 
collect wood. Okay, so let's let's make a let's make a diggy boy. This is the drone that will dig. It will be able to go through the whole fucking planet. And it will also have shoot. Actually, it should have two shoot. Two shoot. Perfect. I'll put a resource tank here, and then it needs... Does it have, like, a little sucky thing? It has a resource collector. Is this a resource collector? What? I have a fucking plasma short laser? What? Why do I have so many weapons? Oh, fuck. Bentley's gone. Oh, yeah. Bentley wasn't in my loadout. I... Is there a way I could load... Actually, hold on. Well, that... You know what? That's probably because I'm a different character with different parts. And that was like a tutorial kind of thing. I don't think I could build Bentley with all these parts. Desert, your ship is going to cost like 200 resource. What? Huh? Don't tell me about the costs. We'll deal with it later. Never tell me the odds. Oh, Fluffy the Red Lizard. Thank you for the, uh, the eight months. You should play the Diggy Diggy song while you mine. The Diggy Diggy song? What is, <laughs> what is that? I am not familiar with it. No, I don't know what that is. What is that? Diggy Diggy Hull. Those are clipping. Diggy Diggy Hole? Dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel before the hyena comes. What? I don't know this song! What have I done to insult the hyena? What is, why is it coming for me? I guess I'll put... Re two reverse thrusters? Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Actually, yeah, here we go. And then I need... Uh... Ammo for my lasers. A lot of these parts are very vulnerable. Uh... Can I, like, move... Hold on a second. Can I move this? Like, this, this... Okay, wait, hold on. Make that branch off to here. Actually, make this branch off to here, and... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And then... Have this rotated to fit here. Perfect. This ship's a fucking mess. This ship is a goddamn mess. This bird is not going to get off the ground. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Hold on. I got it. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. It's perfect now. It's beautiful, chat. This is peak aesthetic. It's perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Does it need three batteries? Look how much shoot this thing's got. It's got, like... Four giant laser beams. T the hero, thank you for the 23 months, dude. Hey there, champ. I'm happy the stream yesterday was such a great mood lifter. Now you're a space lizard. Yeah. Yeah, the stream yesterday did, like, improve my mood a lot. Sometimes I forget that, like, streaming kind of helps me out, like, when I'm not feeling so great. It takes a minute, but then I, when I start, like, actually enjoying what I'm doing and having fun, I always wind up feeling so much better. Wait, I could attach the lasers to the lasers, and now the lasers have lasers on their lasers! On the drills! I should put that more, like, here, actually, behind the drill. If I... Hmm. 
Well, I'm worried now that, like, the drill isn't going to be wide enough, so maybe I should have these more on the inside. Like, like this. That way. That way. The width of the ship is able to go through any hole it may dig. Like that. Put those there so they're not vulnerable. Put these here so we have a little bit more spinning axis, more up front. And, uh, what is this? Small magnet. I'm not sure what this does, but I'm, I'm assuming, like, I need to put this, like, in front, right? Maybe I could, like... Put that like that? I'm not sure how to use this. Maybe I'll just stick it out a little bit. I'll activate it with the left mouse. Uh, shoot left mouse. Well, oh, actually, no, this will be right mouse then. So then this is W, W, W. D? A? I like how it's like setting this up like already by default. A lot of these are like on point. How does it know? How does it know, chat? That's a good quality of life feature. It's magic. It is magic. How does it know? It's in my brain. I'm just gonna add a bunch of fuel around it. This this is perfectly safe. Putting all your fuel canisters around the outside of your ship. And then I'll protect them with little blocks. This will be our armor. Just just in case. Just in case we come up like against any uh would-be space pirates. Oh, we have another resource tank, too. Hold on. I didn't know that. This is gonna be, like, the best ship ever. Ever made. Everyone will want one in the future. I will go down with the greats, like Albert Einstein and George Washington. Wait, hold on. There was an error. I don't think it's done yet. Wait, no, no. Hold on. Can I edit? Edit drone. What is this? Attaching too many parts to a single part may cause instabilities. Yeah, never tell me the odds. I'm good. This ship's perfect. It's flawless. Uh. It kind of looks like a scorpion. The scorpion. It's like a big diggy scorpion thing. Did you set the drills to activate? Oh, fuck, you're right. I did not. Oh, wait, no, they're left mouse. I don't want them to be left mouse. We should make them like E. I'll make all the lasers uh, left mouse, though. Let's test it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I can shoot for fucking days. He's way too much of a reach for my fingy. I think this ship is a success. It doesn't reverse very well, but that's fine. I don't care. Uh, Scorpio, look at ass. Be. Go. And launch the ship. Okay. Here I go. Down to the planet I go. Where I stop. Nobody knows. Duh. <laughs> ah, yes. Digging. <laughs> One of my many talents. I didn't extend them enough. Oh no. I called it, Desi. 
Oh, back to the drawing board. After I complete this mission. Thankfully, it's not mission critical. Uh, what is this box? I have, I have... I've collected a strange box. It, it's not the black box, but it's something. I'm sucking it up with my magnet. I will take it back to the depository. Eh? Yeah, here. There you go. Boop. And... Kobe! There we go. I don't know what that was, chat. Let's see. What else is on this planet's surface? It was a resource box. You got more red stuff. Why is my ship, like, turning red? What's happening to it? Your ship is getting mega damaged. Oh, no. Am I gonna explode? It's because you keep crashing. <laughs> but, but red, red is a good color. My favorite color is red. Red means you're not dead. Uh, oh god, I'm stuck. Duh. But, is that on? Ah! What is happening? I'm stuck! Ship stuck! <sighs> okay, I got it. Desert, you might need more back thrust. No, I, I have back thrust. It's just, <laughs> it's just baby. It's just a baby thrust. Yo, Desert, that ship looking kind of hot. Don't be gel. I think I've lost one of my thrusters. Uh, here I am floating in a tin can. I, I have lost control of my ship. I'm now constantly rotating. Uh, I want to bring this back. It's not working. Oh, no. You don't need to bring that back. Well, wait, is this not... Is this something I bring back or no? I don't know if this is what I needed to do. Just... You can just click go. Well, I, I was trying to see if I could collect this and get, like, parts. I guess I could just go back. The mission was just to find it. I got like a saw blade? What? Okay, so we we finished the mission on Uranus. Now it's time to go to Shakara, which is a green planet filled with trees. Travel to location. This is kind of fun, actually. Select drone. I will bring out the scorpion again, but I'm going to edit it. Give it... Give it ways of blades. I need to... I need to put these... I need to, like, extend these back a little bit. Ex put these forward. And then... Does the razor blade, like, also dig into the planet? Because then I could just, like... Could put it like here. Expand the drill. I, I can't expand the drill, but I can like make it. I can increase the width. I guess I could put another one here. Uh, this will also be E. Oh, you can like adjust their rotations like too. I got a- I got a long laser? Okay. More shoot! Sure, why not? 
Lots of shoot. Many shoot. Trying to make my ship, like, balance so it doesn't get, like, fucked up by, by, you know, the, the funny gravity thing. That, that weird thing. That doesn't actually exist. You guys don't actually believe in gravity, do you? It's not real. Hell yeah! <laughs> Desert time isn't real. Time is just a man-made construct. There's no such thing. Daylight saving time, that's all just... Just... Garbage. Completely fake. Unreal. What if we're not real? That's the end game. Then why am I getting older? Because you refuse to not believe in time, so therefore it is affecting you. It's just like in Flight of Dragons, when they defeated the evil wizard by, by not believing in his magic, and it worked! He was powerless. Oh shit, we actually have turrets now. Help! Ah! Fuck! Die! 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 Oh god. I can't take much more, Captain! So if you don't believe in death, you can be immortal. Sure! You gotta destroy that corp transmitter. So wait, if I like... If I, like, beat the shit out of these, like, piles, am I collecting them? Like this? Oh, no. No, no, no. That is not what's happening at all. No, they are just being destroyed. <laughs> I love how you can dig, though. That's great. Unfortunately, I really need more powerful thrusters. <laughs> these adjustment thrusters are not working out, bro. You're collecting them, there's a little bit in your tank. Oh, okay. Duh. I need way more powerful thrusters to, like, operate this behemoth. That's my target, that big thing. Target sighted. Ah! We're taking heavy fire! Ah! Ah! Die, 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 die! I can't, I can't move, chat! <laughs> I'm, I'm too dummy thick! <laughs> uh, Colonel, uh, we've lost a dwell! We've lost a dwell. We've lost a dwell! Help! Ah, uh, desert, you're damaging your own ship with your own weapons! I did it! Never tell me the odds. Okay. So wait, I have to now go to the deposit station, right? And then I will poop out all my resources into the into the bin. Like this. There you go. Well, wow, that was a funny noise. Why do they choose that noise for depositing things into the bin? Really odd choice, developers. So what if I told you guys that I have an extra key for this game and I think I might give it away? Huh? Huh? What if I told you guys I probably will do that right now? They sent me a bunch of these. They were very cool about it. Um... Let's see. Let me grab it really quick. This isn't your type of game. Yeah, I'll just have like a little raffle thing. This is for Steam. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, why? Yeah, let's do this right now. Why not? Why not? I'm going to open a giveaway thing. Let's see if this works. Pagonabot, are you even there? 
Hold on, Pogona bot's being difficult. Oh, he's not even connected. Oh, I have to connect him. One second. Let me get my bot back up so we can actually do a thing. Huh? Gotta log in. Get that O off token. That's not it. There it is. I'm waking him up. I'm waking him up. Just give me a sec. He's almost ready. He's almost ready. Oh my God. Stop it. Almost there. And... There we go. Authorize. Wake up, idiot! You got work to do! Pagonabot, are you there? Someone henlo him. Hey. Oh, maybe this isn't working now. Oh, you know what? Even though I have a token. Oh, that was a weird sound. What the hell was that? You hear that like, poof. I don't know what that was. Uh, let's think. It's because you called him an idiot. Yeah, I, I want to be able to do this. You didn't hear that? I did. Now it's making me like solve a captcha to get him to log in. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, good. Yes. Let me log in, please. No, you're not going to, even though I already did this. It's making me solve another puzzle. This is ridiculous. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my bot won't, but they're not letting my bot connect. Okay. Now it's making me put in another, <laughs> another code. Authorize. Connect. Okay, is it there now? That sh it should be there now. The code has been entered. Yes, okay, now there- Okay, thank God. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Alright. He lives! Okay, I'm gonna do like... I'm gonna do like a giveaway thing. I'm gonna give away a code for this game. This is for the Steam version of this game, so... You'll know when to join. It's gonna say it's for a Smash thing, but just, just say exclamation mark join. It's not for Smash. <laughs> I'll let that run for like 30 seconds or something. Let's see. What are we joining? Uh, uh, you're gonna get a game key if you win, Connor. For this. Nimbatus. Because they gave me a couple. And... Wow, that's a lot of people. Um... Is everyone joined? Y'all good? Looks like uh, the initial wave is over. All right, I think everyone's joined who wants to join. And let's pick a winner. Does it wait? Okay, I'll wait a little bit longer.
You don't know what this is. This is like a besiege in space, like roguelike style game where you build like spaceships and then you go to like different planets and you have different missions to accomplish there. And I kind of really like this so far. It's actually really, really well done. It's a little bit like FTL. Well, not, well, I would say it's more like Besiege than FTL. It's in space, though. Oh, Connor, I'm not getting paid for this. They just gave me a game key or two. Well, yeah. I'm going to pick a winner now. Yamuna Uni. Congratulations. You you have won. You have won the thing. Where are you? You you in here? I'm going to I'm going to uh, whisper you a secret code that you can use on Steam to get the game. Yamuna Uni. Are you there? Hello. You entered. Yamuna Uni? Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm going to at you. Did, did it whisper to you? You have won a copy of this game. I have never really done this before. I'm sorry if this is like the most awkward fucking thing ever. <laughs> You never win anything? Well, guess what? You just you just won the prize. So, guess you I guess you have won something in your life. Congratulations. There you go. The code has been sent. The pact has been sealed. Did you get it? That's all the codes I have. Thank you, Desert. Oh, you're welcome. You got it, right? You have it now? You got the PM? You got it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Well, that's 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 literally all the codes I had. So. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. But I'm glad. I'm glad you 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 appreciate the prize, Yamuna Uni. You're gonna cry. Oh no! Don't cry. Let's move to my Sebe. I actually wait. What is this one? Dag sucks. Destroy large beehives. What? Let's travel. Let's go there. Vine crust. What's crusty? Did something crust? I heard a crust, but it was on my side checking the clip. Oh, okay. There was like a weird like thump earlier, but I think that was just like phantom power sorting itself out. I don't know if that's something I should be worried about because it happens every now and then. Like it's just a soft little like a pop. Let's edit this ship. Let's uh, let's let's make it good for hunting down bees. Oh, I can have I can now has more uh, thrust. That's good. I need more. <laughs> it makes a little... I'll put that there. I'll put this here. So that's A and D. Yeah, these like automatically get set up now. That's cool. I, I bet that's based on like the axis of the ship. And then I could add like another little baby thruster here to make it you know, be able to go to reverse. Mm, no, that's pretty good. It turns a little bit better now. Yeah, that's great. You need a low-cost ship so you can deploy that for much less titanium. A low-cost ship? 
You're probably right. I think I'm going to wind up running out of uh, unobtainium and then the run's over, right? <laughs> the ship is like one third your resources to deploy once. It's a good ship. I gotta destroy the bees. This is my anti-bee warship. I guess I can get rid of the drills. I'll, I'll get rid of the drills. Th th we don't need the drills. Oh. I'll give it a lot of, like, lasers. So we can just go... Bzzz. Bzzz. Yellow is tritum. Oh. I, we don't probably need the buzz saws. Bees buzz enough as it is. I need these- I need these thrusters, though. That's gotta happen. I'm going- I don't think we need a second resource tank, so I'll- I'll put that down. I'll, I'll get rid of that. I don't want my fuel tanks being so exposed. We're not collecting anything, so I don't need a magnet. Uh, I think this is good. I think this is a very competent anti-bee warship. Having a drilling drone would be nice. Yeah, like one just dedicated to drilling. I could try this ship. Let's try this ship. Let's do it. It's not a scorpion anymore, but... It's gonna be minus 85? It still is kind of like resource intensive, isn't it? How much of this do I have left? How much of that do I have? Let me actually check really quick. I have 460. Okay, this will be fine. This will be good. We'll, we'll, let's do this. Time to, to make Tiny Kong very proud of me. Gonna kill all the bees. She's killing all the bees. We don't know why Tiny Kong is killing all the bees. Die, 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 die. Hell yeah. This is great. This is working out great. Ah! But where's that one going? Get back here! You will not be spared! Duh. Okay. I should collect some of this stuff, right? This is very valuable. Valuable resources. Or not. Oh, that stuff, when it explodes, makes terrain. Okay. I don't think I can collect that shit with the lasers. Ah! I can go forward really fast in, like, dogfights, but... Any other direction is a bit of a struggle. Oh, boy. Get it! These lasers are so powerful against peace. They're made out of pure 5G cell phones. I think I did it. I did it. Good. Bees have been defeated. Okay. So I got new parts for that. Uh, what is this? Oh, a shop. Okay, travel. I will travel to shop. The beevil has been defeated. It wasn't local. There's an extremely slight crackle when you went shaloose on the second syllable. Shaloose? 
Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. But... Oh, that's probably just like a mouth noise, dude. Or just, I don't know, CPU doing stuff. I'll, uh, thank you for looking out, though. I'll look at it later. Those were just bone noises. Oh, you sell unobtainium. To get... Ah, to get more of this. Got it. Okay, all my unobtainium is now gone. <laughs> oh, you had... But I also... Now I can't buy anything. Oh, God. I'm amazing. I'm so fucking smart. Damn, bro! <laughs> I'm so fucking smart. Well, pleasure doing business with ya. Uh, let's see. Locate the black box in this one. You can get something that decreases your threat when traveling. Okay. A thick nebula. Nebula? Swallows the Nimbatus. It offers brief respite from the relentless chase. You enjoy the moment of silence before moving on. Eh? Oh! The nebula reduced my threat level because we're, like, under the cover. No, I believe you, Neri. It's just sometimes that happens anyways. Um, when I stream, like, especially, like, computer games, there's a tendency for those glitches to happen more often. Just because, like, the CPU is doing other shit. So this is just a recover the black box situation, right? I should be able to just do this normally, then. Get a dedicated string PC. All right. Well, when I start making, like, tons of money so I can afford to do that, I'll let you know. I honestly don't like the idea of a second string PC. That's way too fucking complicated for me. I'm already really damaged. God damn it. It also could be a phantom power thing. I don't know. I'd have to listen to it later. This is kind of hard to, like, do while I'm streaming, though. That's it. You're overheating. You're overheating. Get it. Get it. Get it. Destroy. Got it! And we're good. You see the difference between heat and damage now. Oh, you do? Small battery. Toxic Avenger, thank you for the 22 months, dude. Thank you! That's a long time to be subbed to someone, dude. Thank you very much. You got stealth level two. Yeah. So now I'm like, I'm better at avoiding threats. Now I should travel to this location. Heat leads to damage eventually, but you aren't being straight damaged until you turn white. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, because that's the hottest temperature. You have some at 63 months. Oh man, I didn't need, I didn't even know Twitch was around that long. Wait, what is this mission? What is my goal? Mission, destroy large beehives. Oh, it's bees again. Hmm. Well, this was a pretty good drone to attack bees with. I'll do this. I'll just keep I'll just keep using this one. Bees? Bees? These are energy resources. But I ain't never seen energy like this on. All right. Duh. Duh. 
destroy the bees! Be gone! Be gone, space bee! That's what I don't think lizards exist. Oh, they exist! They just don't want you to know they do. Do you think developers ever, like, regret sending me keys because I'm so weird? And I say stupid things. Nah, no, no, no. Okay, yes and no. <laughs> oh, we can't work with this guy. Talking about lizards not existing. They send it because they know you're too busy being weird to shit talk the game. Well, I mean, <laughs> if I wasn't enjoying the game, I would, <laughs> I would let you guys know. This is actually rather cathartic. I like it. It's a nice, it's a nice slow burn. Making fun little ships and going to different planets and fucking shit up. Having a good time. Having a good time. Okay, let's enter the wormhole. Go! Did you just get a minigun? I think so. As you approach the wormhole, you spot some debris orbiting it. You can probably grab one piece. One piece before they all get sucked in. Eh? Wasn't there a game you were sent and you didn't enjoy it? It's happened before. It's definitely happened before. In fact, yeah, that was um That was the beast within, I think. That was that was last year, yes. I can get like bonus upgrades. Epic weapon with three upgrades. Elemental damage. Drone parts heal when out of combat or 80 unobtainium. I like elemental damage. You can only select one, right? But you get this regardless. Okay. At the center of every galaxy is a Galenus, which will take you to other Galenuses throughout the universe. Fascinating. Let's go to this place. This looks nice. It's a Gwaj. Says it. you did a one-off of Code Vein. Well, yeah, I, that was, I actually did enjoy that game, um, I just, I don't know. I guess I was playing so many things at the time, I wound up forgetting about it, but no, Code Vein was alright. Game was, like, very, very anime, but that's not a bad thing. Let's see, bridge upgrade? None of resources. None of resources. Uh, scrap hull parts. What? Scrap hull parts? Oh, you can like trade health for resources? Okay, I don't want to do that. Let's go to Lekubu. Lekubu. Destroy small beehives again. Okay. What's wrong with anime? Absolutely nothing. Who dis? You encounter a pirate ship. They may not like you, but they dislike the corp even more and offer you a trade. For a little bit of money, you'll they'll attack the corp and distract them. I'm fucking broke. They scoff at you and fly away, leaving you behind. <laughs> okay, let's destroy some beehives. Actually, you know what I want to see? Like, what is that new thing I got? I have a lot of, like, 
new toys to play with here. Uh, kinetic rocket launcher. Holy shit. Let's replace the lasers with a fucking rocket launcher. What is this one? Cryogenic flamethrower? Oh. I kind of want to try both of these things. Oh, wow. This is cheaper, too. Let's do, um... Let's see how these operate. In a test. <laughs> Just spray and pray. Jesus. Freeze the bees. All right. I fucks with it. I'll fucks with it. Sure. What is all this? Particle angle? Oh, you can upgrade this. Okay. Flames. So these are the upgrades it has. Okay, wow, that's a rather advanced weapon. All right, let's give it a shot. I think it's gonna go. Time to spray down some bees. My giant intergalactic raid can is ready. <laughs> wow, this shit fucks them up. Oh my god. Jesus. That destroys them. The bees cannot handle it. I'm too cool. This weapon's so cool, it should be illegal. Very illegal. Let's go back. Okay, got some trident. Got a small energy shield. Protects from enemy projectiles and lasers. Oh shit, that's kind of cool. Loot boxes? Well, yeah, like after every mission, you get kind of like... The, uh... The guaranteed loot. For upgrading your ship. Grey Bounden. Destroy the corp transmitter. You get a booster tank from this. And more thrusters. Okay. Aren't flamethrowers a war crime? Well, thank God... This is not a flamethrower. It's a cryogenic flamethrower. It freezes, not burns. It's the opposite. So, it's okay. Maybe. Just don't tell nobody. Just don't tell nobody, okay? Don't worry about it. I want that, uh, I want that shield. I feel like I don't need, like, all of this ammo. I'm gonna, like, actually lighten up on the ammo a little bit, but I will put a shield in. That's good. That, that protects all of my shit. Let's fuck him up! How does freezing things work in space that already freezes stuff? It makes it even colder-er. You think you know what cold is? You don't know anything. Where is it? Where is the transmitter? I will scour every inch of this planet until I find it, and then I will destroy it. Wow! Huh? Ah, fuck! This is- I gotta stop crashing into things! 
Unfortunately, you have to get like so fucking close to this shit. Oh, I, I don't have weapons anymore. Oh, fuck. I'm out of here. Ah! Can't take much more, Captain. I'm too stupid for this game. I've, I've made mistakes. How do I, how do I undo my mistakes? All that's left is like, I can turn clockwise and that's about it. Uh-oh, return to hangar. Okay, we're gonna need to think about how to approach this mission because that didn't fucking work at all. Freezing doesn't seem to help here. Uh, I prob. Mm, I don't think I, I'm like collecting resources, so I don't need this resource tank. So I'll like put that like that, delete that. You should add some shields. I have one shield added. I'll add this one, too. I guess I need to put it, like, kind of up front, too, to protect the guns. And then... Let's try a test flight. The rockets are cool, but I mean, like, are they effective? I, I don't know. Okay, XZ, thank you for the nine months sub. Actually, 13. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that a lot. Desert, don't you have to activate them? Huh? Activate? Oh, shit, you're... Oh, God, I'm stupid. Oh, no. That's why they weren't working. I thought they were just automatic. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. What have I done? Okay, let's try this again with, like, actual shields that are working. Uh... Yeah. That's right, my name is Dummy P. I am very dumb. If rockets are not effective, just add more. MORE ROCKETS! Where is it? Where is it? Activate the shields! Oh! Oh! You have to hold it. Get it! Huh? No! No! My shields! Uh, I can't back up! No! Oh, I can only really go forward! And they're gone. Okay, rockets are not effective here. Rockets are not effective here. Desert flee. I can't. I can't. Uh, I'm so bad. I'm, I'm not good at aerodynamics, I'm starting to realize. Okay, instead of, instead of rockets, what, what if, what if, instead of rockets, we had like, uh, long laser? Short laser? Short laser? What, but these are the same... What? Why, how are these different? Oh, this one shoots three lasers. Okay. I, we could... We could try this! I mean, this has worked in the past. I feel like I'm gonna need more artillery here. Just boatloads of it. All the guns. All the guns. Do you need that much fuel? I don't know. Probably not. I don't, I still don't know what this 
is. I'm not sure what those buttons are for. I will use two fuel. Oh shit, now I'm very nimble. She's quick and nimble when she takes a bee! That's a good laser. Let's go. Wait. Oh, this is a test planet. Oh, okay, so you can actually test out, like, how this works in the field, almost. Yeah, backing up is not happening here. Uh, I... Well, I think I just got rid of my backup thruster, right? So I'll need that. I need, like... I need one facing this way, and another facing this way, so we can at least try to fucking back up here. S and... S... That's a little better, but it's still really slow. If only I had, like, big thrusters. Add gravity. Heh! <laughs> gravity? Let's try this again. It says that you have way too many parts. No! I don't have enough parts! Here I go. Uh. Space. The final frontier. What? What? What is happening to my ship? What? No! <laughs> what is happening to me? Captain, the systems are unstable! <laughs> what is happening? Help! I can't fire my lasers! Ah. Oh god, that was fucking weird. Oh no, oh no, this this ship is not working. Mayday, mayday! I, I, think, I think the guns made it unstable. Oh boy, something went really wrong there. Uh, that didn't happen in the simulation. What the hell was that? Let's try this again. I'm going to run out of fucking resources. <laughs> One of your lasers is misaligned. Is it? Oh, yeah, I see that. That'll, that'll be fine. Everything will be daijo boo as long as I don't start, like, shaking again. You moved for a long period of time. That's the problem. Oh, wait. Yeah, I am kind of running out of fuel. Maybe I did need all those fuel tanks. God damn it. I have, like... Ah! Get it! Go! Activate the shields! Yes! Oh, I'm out of here! Booyah! <laughs> Got it off! I got it! Got the booster tank! Damn. This galaxy's big as fuck. So now... Destroy pirate mines. What is this mission? Let's go check this one out. This is going to give me 11% added threat. Good. Every time you launched, you lost Tritanium. Uh-oh. Yeah, big uh-oh. Destroy pirate mines, huh? Well, I finally got these, like, thrusters I wanted. So I don't need... I can probably... But wait a minute, can I undo? Yes! Oh, there is an undo! Okay. I can have... One here, and one here. Now I can reverse properly. 
with less parts. I think I do need more fuel, though. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, this is the one that was out of alignment, right? You have the big yellow square now. Oh yeah, that's right, I do. The booster tank. Whoa! That's fucking massive! Okay. I'm gonna have to sacrifice some weight here. My ship is now getting dummy thick again. I'm dummy thick, Kermit. Oh. Oh. God. I'm trying to do stand-up, but the clap of my ass just keeps making the audience laugh, Kermit. <laughs> uh, hey, Stray Fawn Studios, if you never want to send me a key ever again, I, I, I get it. Trust me, we're good. We're, we are good. <laughs> we're, we're okay. <laughs> I completely understand. Fozzy, you don't even have ass cheeks! Oh. Move right along. I don't know what this bit is anymore. <laughs> one of my favorite Muppet spits was the one where like, Fozzie has the realization that they are puppets and that there are strange men beneath them with their hands up inside their bodies. And he says to Kermit like, yours has a mustache. <laughs> Kermit, don't look down, don't look down. There's a man down there. This was an actual, like, bit they ran. <laughs> I just like how he goes, yours has a mustache. Just they, like, look down at each other. It's like... <laughs> Beneath the waist. Ah. Uh. Christ. The Muppets were fucking funny, dude. They still are. Fozzie, you know too much! But Karma said, like, Fozzie, yeah, we're, we're puppets. We're puppets, Fozzie. What the? Oh, shit! Oh, we getting into heated dogfights now? Activate the shields! Fuck you, space pirate scum! I guess I'm. this is what I'm deactivating, right? Whoa! Is that red zone, the danger zone? That's, that's the, that's the, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt zone, I guess. Bad times ahead zone. Eh. Your shields only last for like two seconds. Well, I only have little baby shields for now. I'm running out of ammo. These mines have very, a lot of HP. You're gonna have a bath, Tim. This is the sand zone. I gotta, I gotta wait, wait for my uh, my lasers to recharge. Okay, there they go. There they go. They're coming back. They're coming back. Your shields use your ammo pool. Oh, is you know what? That is what they do, huh? seen that coming <laughs> okay i'm gonna need like actual range for this i think these are not gonna fucking cut it no 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 we need actual like gun wheel guns 
maybe like something that's not a laser. Yeah. That would be a good idea. How about rockets? How about rockets? That's that's a good idea. But actually, yeah, 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 like that. And that's that's pretty balanced, I think. That's pretty good. Yeah. You think I can adjust that a little bit more? Right there. Your drone was literally lighter. Huh? I think I think I'm good to go. I think I'm good to go, chat. I hmm. Yeah, that 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 should work. That should do the trick. I don't know what could possibly survive that onslaught. Why is the orientation of the front shield off? It mildly bugs me. Wait, it is? Huh? Oh, shit. I fixed it. Is that better? Now it is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Quote, funny purple people eater. Thank you, Desi. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Eh, eh. I should zoom in a little bit, but I also- Ah! Here he comes! Fox, get this guy off me! Oh shit! Victory! That's what you get. That's what you get. Here we go. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's so much- Oh, wow, that- Wow, the lasers are so fucking weak. What the hell? That's a huge difference. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. I have the power of God and anime. Ah! Oh! Uh, got it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. How much HP does this thing have? Uh. Duh. Ow! Don't crash into the giant floating iceberg. Cringe dumb laser fails. Funny compilation. Okay, just gotta, just gotta like, look around a little bit more. There's probably another mine. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? What is that? No, get away from me. I was frozen today. Ah, get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. My thrusters have been frozen. The engines are stalling. Just like an Iron Man. Remember when he was flying so high into the atmosphere that his thrusters would stall out because they would freeze? And then that's how he defeated the villain because he made it so like he went so high up in the air he didn't solve that problem yet. So then when they went up too high into the stratosphere, the villain's mech like froze, but his didn't because he fixed that problem. And then they fell to the ground and he won. Iron Man was a very good movie. I don't watch DC movies, understandable. I don't either. Desert, was that a JoJo reference? Yeah. The Stand Iron Man. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's a mine in the ice. Please equip a drill so you can get the resources. Yeah, I should do that. If I was a smarter person, I would. Thankfully, I'm not that. Da, 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 da. How many left? There's only one left. Light it up. Dust this bit. Da, 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 da. Huh. 
Okay. Good. What is this? Godile Plasma Sniper? Huh. Plasma Sniper. Oh, here's a shop. I don't have any money, though. Retrieve Freezer. Yo, ain't that the villain of Dragon Ball Z? Waka waka. I should make a new ship. I shouldn't just keep editing this ship. How do I make a new ship? Let's see. New ship. Create new drone. Retrieve a freezer. Okay. So we'll need like a magnet, I guess. Uh, I have a tiny little magnet. Yeah, right there. Ah, yeah, work. Just a little baby magnet. And then thrusters here. And another pair of thrusters here. Just so we can reverse. These will be our how we change direction. Which you know is French for direction. And Doril. Doril for Dorilling. Actually, I should probably put these more in front, huh? But then I need this in front. How do I balance this? Can I... Maybe this will just work. <laughs> you need the power of the spiral. Yeah. Just like in... In, uh... Gurren Lagoon. Remember? Remember that anime? Row, row, row your boat. Love that anime. What a good anime. One of my favorite animes of all time. Okay, that's... Wait, no. This is... This is... No, this is D. This is A. This is W. W. And this is S. This will be left mouse. And this will be... Right mouse. Okay, this is like the scorpion again. It still... It doesn't turn very well. I think I need to like... I'm, I think... I guess I need to put these more up front, huh? Seems like it responded better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how does physics work? This is how. That's it. This is a lobster. You're right, this is a lobster. I think this will work now. Lobster ship! Lobster ship! Rock. Lobster. Go! I should have used it on a test planet. Wow, the, the future is fascinating. We can, like, create whole planets to, like, have our ships get tested on. That's fascinating. Wait, did I set the drills? They're not activating. Wait, the drills are... Oh no, what have I done? Oh, do they require ammo? Oh fuck, I'm stupid. That did it. Ugh, quiet. Desert. Desert. This is why you test it. Now it's working. I don't think they need that much though. I can probably get away with, like, the little baby ammo. This. How much does this drain? Oh, that drains ammo, too. But, like, it's very slow. Okay, this should be fine. How do magnets work? Um, magic. I think. Little invisible, like, gnomes that, like, you... Okay, so there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, little invisible gnomes, and they're always around these weird, like, rocks that... I, I guess they're just very valuable to them. And when you put these rocks next to other things that the gnomes really like, they'll pull it towards the magnet rock, so that way 
it can be fed. But if they don't like it, then they'll try and push it away. And that is how magnets work. Oh God, there's enemies here. Ah! Ah! To the planet Gar. That's it, you should be a teacher. Thank you. I've been working on that lesson. Uh, I think my butt's full. Georgia, we have to go to the planet Horror. Where is the? I, I saw the freezer, but it's being it's being heavily guarded. What? Meteor showers? Oh no! <laughs> Wait. Uh, this wasn't in the instruction manual. They didn't tell us about that. That's it. You're now a land dolphin. Nature is beautiful. There. I deposited all my poop. Go out. I guess the drill kind of works as a weapon. It's going to be really fucking hard to attack shit with, though. Uh, I think my fuel's really running out. Uh-oh. I'm very low on fuel. Maybe I'll just let gravity do all the work. I don't need to use my thrusters. I just need Doril. Doril will guide the way. But I gotta get back to that fucking freezer. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Wait, what if I... What if I came from underneath of it? You know? Oh, God. How do, how do they even know I'm down here? You guys are cheating. Hacks! Hacks! I'm calling hacks, dude! Go, 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 go! I can make it! Uh! I have frozen completely. My system is totally stalled out! <laughs> nah! Uh! Oh no! I can't- I can't reverse thrusters! Help! Help, computer! Oh god, that's one thruster down! I can get out of this! The storm is too cold! No! Oh! <laughs> I can't move. Go, chat, go! We can do it! I can do this. Uh, we're almost there! Never give up! Trust your instincts! Ah! It's dead. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. This is the end. Wow, they are just like freezing me to death. Hmm. I need anti gun. Anti gun. Or actually, maybe just a shield. This might just be all I need. Let's try that again with a shield. They won't kill you, but you giving up was sad. I have like no thrusters anymore. They, they were gone. Add more storage and more fuel. <gasps> a corpse scout drone has located you in self-destruct, damaging the Nambatis' hull. You survive once more, and because the scout drone was destroyed, the corpse lose track of you for now at least. Uh-oh. Ouch time. I got this, chat. I got this. I know I've learned from my past mistakes, and now I'm a seasoned 10-year vet in space exploration. The field of space exploration. There it is! Get it! 
Mm. Okay, I'm out of here. Oh, jeez. I gotta... You know what? I'm gonna herd them into the planet core. Get them away from the, uh, the big freezer. Go, 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 go. We'll lose them. We'll lose them in the planet core. Oh, shit, they're all in here. It worked, chat. The, the famous Chostar technique. It worked. Running away actually worked this time. I mean, there's still a couple here, but it's not nearly as bad. Now I just gotta get this. Damn it! Ah! Die! Just had to get them separated. Ow! Ah! It can't take much more, Captain. Ah! Okay, I'll try herd these two. Come here, follow me, follow me, stupid. Yeah! Huh? Gotcha. Good. Okay. I can do this now. Just gotta turn a little bit and go! Oh, God, my thrusters aren't working. Thrusters are not working anymore. It's fucked. <laughs> totally frozen. Help. I don't know what to do. I think it's this. I think it's the it's the freezer that's causing this. I'm. You know what the problem is? I know what the problem is. No, chat. I, I know exactly what I'm doing wrong. This will solve the problem. But wait, no, not that. I need to, like, extend this to a safe distance from the main ship. That's the only way. I'm gonna, like, run out of credits or whatever, but I'm learning. Because it's so cold, it's freezing my entire ship. Get some tail guns. I think all I need is, like, just a little shield here. And that'll be good. Yeah, that should be great. Add laser on ass. <laughs> laser on ass? So like this? That. That's gonna burn through my ammo though. I'm gonna have to increase the ammo size then to compensate for all this new new shenanigan fuckery. This techno bullshit. Okay, let's try again. What if you added an ass on your ass? Well, then you would have two asses. Here we go. Okay. That kind of... All right. All right. This is working. Uh, thrusters aren't working anymore. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Follow me, idiots. Follow me into the planet car. If you dare! Huh? Are they, are they, did they, did they follow me? 
Are they here? Yo, my ship is heating the fuck up. Shit's getting hot. My lasers are fu <laughs> My lasers are actually heating up my ship, I think. You need to go to the cooler to cool off. Uh! Help! We are under fucking attack. It's because your lasers are backwards. Well, yeah, they're, they were meant to protect the ass. I should have set them to fixed. Uh, okay. Pick it up. Go. We can do this. It'll be easy. Like taking baby from candy. Ah! Stop shooting! Oh my god. Ah. This is a mess. This is a mess. <laughs> what the fuck? Please, let me take it. I figured out how to do this. I'm loose. I lost the drill. Oh no, we're, we're critical damage. I don't think I have a means of picking up this payload reliably. Yeah, this mission's fucked. I can't do this one. I only have one tiny little baby magnet and it's not strong enough to pick this thing up. I need to find, like, a different thingy. What about, like, big meaty claws? Yeah, I don't have those. I have big meaty saw blade, but that's not gonna cut it. Well, it will cut it, but we're not trying to do that. You should grab all the resources before abandoning the mission. Oh, do they stay with you? Yeah. Well, hold on. I can I can now go to the shop. I have some red crystal. What do you have, sir? Oh wow, you have big battery. Another sniper, free hinge. Big battery piece. I could buy I could buy some batteries. Buy one. You have one. And then sell some unobtainium to get some credits. You need more drill. Well, yeah, I do. Uh, I don't think I can do that mission with what I have right now. Capture ice mantas? Destroy the corp laboratory. I could probably do that one, but... Oh god, some of these are really difficult. A hinge would be useful for steering. You think so? I could buy them. Buy one for five. I'll, I'll take your whole stock. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go to a different, like, subset of planets, I think. If I can. Oh, uh, maybe I can't, actually. I don't think I can go this way. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Retrieve freezer. But the fr it's hard. Let's see what capture ice mantis is. You intercepted a distress signal. Huh? Investigate. All you find is a field of debris, apparently left over from a civilian ship. You gather what little is left before you leave. Oh, what is this? Medium spring. Okay, I don't know what that's what I could use that for. <laughs> I, can I just say I love this planet name? <laughs> Acres. Poggers. Eggers, bro! <laughs> Egg?
God damn it. The curious and docile ice mantis have a symbiotic relationship with ice flies, making them interesting research subjects. Capture a few of them by dropping them into the Nimbatus container. I'm going to try using the rock lobster as it is, because I don't know how this mission actually works. And I'm assuming you just kind of magnetize them or something. I don't know why they would be magnetic, but whatever. Let's capture some funny little alien bugs. So where are they? Do they live in this? Is this where they- Oh wow, I'm freezing. I'm freezing! I'm freezing! I'm freezing! I'm freezing! Gotta get warm! Gotta go into the planet core! Help! 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 Ah! System's failing! System's failing! I've lost thrusters. Okay. Okay, now we're warming up. Wow, the frigid surface fucking sucks. Quick! Put a sweater on the spaceship! <laughs> Cook it some hot cocoa! Get the mittens! Oh, it's these fucking things. Alright, so these things have an aura that freezes you. Great. So where are the mantises? Boy, am I glad he's frozen in there and we're out here! And that he's the sheriff and we're out here! Yeah, that we're in there, and I just remembered we're out here. Well, what I want to know is, where's the caveman? I have yet to find an ice mantid. Let's head to the malt shop. That's it, you got to learn how to swoose. I am swoosing right now look at all this swoos 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 oh is that it i think i found it i think i found it oh god you you are disgusting you'll never find love Oh man, but it's hanging out in the middle of that vortex, that polar vortex. Hey, East Coast, how is the snow, by the way? In May. Hope you guys are okay. Things are getting weird out there. It was fine. Did you build a snowman? Do you wanna build a man? Snowman. Ah! Oh god, this was a mistake. Oh god, this was a mistake. Help! No! I should not have gotten this close. I got way too close. I got way too... I can't move my laser anymore because it's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a really fucking fun game. <laughs> I'm gonna collect these this red crystals over here. That's it, let it go. We're gonna get sued by Disney. Any references to being frozen at all, no matter if it's the movie, the temperature, whatever. Disney's got you. You're dead, kiddo. The stream now belongs to John Disney. Ah, uh, wow, I'm so fucking frozen, I can't actually move well at all. I have to dig more with my little laser. I still can't move. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How do I heat back up? I want to heat up. Maybe I can heat myself up with the laser. You need a heating pad. Is there like a... A way to like counter this? 
I seriously can't move. Hmm. Maybe I should just let my systems cool out for a sec, or we'll maybe heat up. Oh wait, there it goes. You might be out of fuel. Your fuel tank doesn't actually recharge. Oh wait, it doesn't? Oh! Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, well, that's why I can't move. We are, we are chilling forever. Well, I didn't realize that. I thought it actually recharged for, why would it do that? Why would you assume that, Desert? Why are you so stupid? This streamer is very dumb. I would like a refund. I was told this stream would be like solving puzzles and stuff, and they just- they just keep dying. Wait, I don't know why I'm adding these. Okay, so... To capture the mantises, I'm going to have to somehow get rid of those goddamn ice blocks. So, I don't know. Maybe I could like put a saw blade way far out. And then that will like maybe make it easier. I'm gonna get rid of this and this and put this here. Use the sniper. Oh, you know what? That's incredibly smart. I also want to put these on fixed. I think that I think I want those on fixed. Yeah, where is that sniper rifle? Where is that thing? Here! The- the go dial sniper. Pew. So I can make it go... Pew. 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 Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, I like that. Now listen, buddy. I'm an engineer. I solve practical problems. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, chat. Centric going down and up. Gotta move that gear. This thing ain't on autopilot. Does it play it? I <laughs> Can someone grab it for me? That's definitely the mood of the stream. Oh wow, I'm, I'm already getting fucked over. Okay. Gotta turn the ship around. Yes, yes, yes! Keep digging, keep digging. Keep digging. Collect that delicious red crystal. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Someone has it. Erected a river. I'm so glad this song doesn't get claimed. You and me, hoss. Hold it, man! <laughs> That's it, your storage is full. I know, I'm looking for the mantises. I, I think they're only on the surface, though. I'm starting to figure out. Let's go. I think I only need- there's only like a couple of them, so they only need three. Oh, there they are. So... Does killing them capture them? I- I'm not sure. I'm worried this is gonna actually like kill it. 
fuck? Yep, all right. So that's not what you do. How do you capture it? So uh, you gotta make them follow you? It follows you. Oh, okay. All right. I just, just, just follow. They, they follow the leader. Very well. We'll try it again. You must befriend them. Do not shoot. Do not shoot. Oh, you mean brought them alive, Pagoda Smile. <laughs> <laughs> so by capture, you mean don't kill. Yes. So don't shoot them. Yes. So don't kill them. Yes. So it's okay if I bring a sniper rifle? No. No. I don't get it. I don't get how this mission works. Oh god, I'm freezing again. Cut! Gotta stay away from these crystals, dude. And fuck. I'm, I also want to get more things in my storage. More red crystal. And you lost all the collected materials because you quit the mission before depositing them. Oh, yeah, I, I... I'm surprised so many people know how this game works. I've only spent three hours playing this game, but I've, I already like it already. There's a lot to this little game. No, you're probably right. You don't have this game. I am learning it from you and what I see. Tell me, what do your eyes see? Legolas, what do your elven eyes see? They're taking the hobbits to Isengard! Da 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 da! Da 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 Hold on. Will this get claimed? This will definitely get claimed, right? Yeah, it does. It it definitely does. Hold on, there might be a version of this that I can actually play. Yeah, here we go. I can play this one. One, two, one, two, three. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 they're taking the hobbits to Isengard. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. The bot is safe. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. What is all that smacking? He's the dancing in the middle of the Mojave Desert. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. The hobbit, the hobbit, the hobbit, the hobbit, the hobbit, the hobbit, the guard. <laughs> <laughs> Bless this man. <laughs> he gave us an unclaimable version of this song. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. 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 <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> there you go. That was, uh, They're Taking the Hobbits to Isengard by Maurice Gleason. Thank you, Maurice Gleason. What did you say? I'm... I can't find these madnesses. What am I doing? I gotta go back to... Ah. I'm so busy laughing at this stupid video that I didn't realize I'm wasting time. The mantises are on the surface. Yes, they are. Let's go to the surface. Or it's freezing cold. I think the devs gave this game to the wrong dude. 
I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. That's it. Remember, don't shoot them. Shoot them? Shoot them dead? Give him a belly full of lead? All right. Gotcha. Desert, no. Make up your mind. I, where are these things? I have I have scoured the surface of this planet and I have not discovered a single goddamn ma Oh, there they are. Found one. My systems are about to completely freeze. Kermit, I'm gonna die on a desolate planet. Completely devoid of life. Oh, I made it mad. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, little feller. I made it upset. Oh, it dropped like a ball. What? What is that? Baby? What? What is the ball? All right, come with me. Come on, come on. What is that thing floating around it? I genuinely don't know what that is. It's like a little firefly. Okay, just come with me. Come with me and you'll see a world of OSHA violations. Ice flies. Oh yeah, that might be what they are. Can you even complete it since you killed one? I haven't killed one this time. What? What? Whoa! That was weird. My ship, like, jerked for a little- for a second. Okay, there you go. Alright. Oh, oh. Why don't you get in the bucket? Just get on in the bucket. Hmm. Got two of them. Okay, I need to get one more, and I only have two little baby fuel tanks left. Where the fuck is- <laughs> Where is this third one? I don't know where it is. I need one more and I don't know where it is. Just shove them in the bucket. Ah! I've got bad RNG, fellas. That little, like, fireball still chasing me. You think you saw it? Wait, it's inside the planet? Really? Mm -hmm. Is it really? Hold on. We must dig. To the planet. <laughs> ah, I can't move. Ah, fuck. Oh, no. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. I genuinely... Where is this thing? And it's over. Oh, no. Maybe I can heat up my systems if I put on my shield. Oh, yeah, that does work, actually. I don't know. We're not. We're not it's not. It's not fucked yet. I still got a little bit of fuel left. I just need to find this damn thing. Where is it? You have it right here. Can you please give it to me? Donde esta? Las Ice Mantas. Por favor. Uh. Yo soy going to die <laughs> if I don't find it. Están en casa. En sus casa or mis casa? Donde esta? Y pantalones. I think everyone learns that phrase eventually. I, I've I've ripped this planet to fucking shreds and I can't find this thing. And my systems are dying. Hold on, I need to put my shield back on. Okay, maybe this will help. Nope, 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 we're fucked. Nope, I'm fucked, I can't move. I, I think this is it, fellas. I think this is how this ends. Damn. Cold is, like, really difficult to deal with in this game. Oh, wait, hold on. 
Maybe not. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Use gun. I'm trying. Pew. Ah. No, I've come so far. You should reset. Ah, fuck. Shoot the ice thing. I, I, I can't move my gun anymore. My gun is frozen in this angle. <laughs> I can't shoot the ice. My gun can't move. See? It's not following directions anymore. Systems are fucked, chat. Systems are fucked. Nice gun. I mean, it's frozen. Oh, no. At least you got a lot of minerals. I, I guess I did. Nice popsicle, dude. Yeah, this is, uh, this looks like a Sonic popsicle. Remember those? Okay. Well, that got... I, I guess I'll try that one more time. One more... T one more... That got, why is this mission so fucking hard? <clears throat> do, me, do you need to leave the planet to get the one you murdered to respawn? That was a different mission attempt. That time I hadn't murdered any. I got it this time. I got it this time. I know what I must do. I must... Scour the surface for the funny bugs. You got fucked up because you got distracted. Yep. That's that's typically how this goes. Okay. All right, fellers. That's two of them. Follow me. Did it say your risk level was at 47%? Yes. There's a 47% chance that we could die. At any second. Come here. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Uh. Whoa! Some kind of wind resistance going on up there. Okay, come on in. There you go. Got two of them. Now... Just gotta find the last one. We got a straggler. Somewhere. Somewhere. Ah! What am I doing? Help! Am I back? 
I don't know what happened there. My microphone just muted itself for some reason. I don't know what I did. I'm still on this ice planet, though. I'm just chilling. But I'm going to re... <laughs> I don't know why this mission's so hard for me. This is like the worst. Did you read the chat log? I, I was kind of busy trying to figure out what was going on my mic. I'm sorry. You it's also very hard to read giant paragraphs posted in chat. Fuck. He did it again. I th it, there's like a million cold fields in this place. Okay, there's one. There's two. Oh, God damn, I didn't mean to shoot you. Oh, those things are its weapons. Oh, they freeze you. Okay, follow me. Are you, are you still angry? Come on. Oh, there's a third one. I can do this. I can do this like in one shot if I, oh, four. What? Okay, well this time things turned out way better. Don't question it, just book it. I'm booking it. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I could keep one as a pet. One of them keeps freezing you. Yeah, I know, that one, I, that one needs to fuck off. Ah! Mm, yeah! Okay, mission's complete. Finally, an hour later. Oh, what's up, Luigi guy? Thank you for the raid, dude. Wow, that was a big raid for you. What were you playing? Congrats on that, by the way. Those are some good numbers. Took three years in game time to capture three Manti boys. God damn it. Oh, Rev rated too? Oh, I didn't even see that. When did he do that? It didn't show up for me at all. Did I totally miss Rev rating me? I'm so sorry. Oh, Rev rated Luigi guy. Oh, okay. Got it, and then by extension, okay, no, I, now I understand, I got confused. Well, I hope you guys are all doing well. We're playing uh, a very cool little game that a developer gave me called Nimbatis, and it's like, you make spaceships, and then you go to planets, and then you you do little fun missions, and it's actually pretty, pretty cool. Also, Volcanicorn, thank you for all those gift subs. That's very, very nice of you. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Oh, wait, hey, now that I completed that mission, I can now go to this, uh, field of planets. Destroy tortoise dens. What is this? Temperature probe? Temperature probe. Bumper. Bumper cars. Hi, I'm Bumper. Let's go to Suddle. Yeah, temperature probe sounds useful considering every planet here is like below freezing. That's did you see the thing I sent you yesterday? The one piece dub? Yeah, I checked it out a little bit. It was good. Looks like this mission is more about like fucking shit up. So let's do that. Let's let's prepare for a big big fight. We got to destroy shit. Time for shoot. Oh, I'm gonna add many ammo. Mi amo. Amo. Amore. Let's put this, like, here. I find that, like... Putting these more closer to the front. That's- that's better aerodynamics. Okay, I don't know why those are all forward thrusters. That's not supposed to happen. A... 
That's S, uh, okay. And... That works. It's not centered, but it works. There we go. That'll be fine. That'll fuck things up. Those thrusters are going to s blow up first, I'm calling it. You- you just need to have faith! Also, I should- I guess I should put a little, like... Eh, I'm not really digging things right now, I'm just blowing shit up. Let's go! I have faith, Arthur! What? Uh! Oh no! Oh shit. I just lost HP. Oh fuck. I'm- I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up if that happens again. Uh, have faith. Tortoise ice stands. Oh, those are tortoises. Ah. I was wondering what these things were. Duh. Oh, this is great. This is a good loadout then. Duh. Just gotta not crash into the damn planet. Here we go. Houston, the eagle has landed. Yo, hooker mode, thank you very much for that prime sub. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Ah! Duh. That's too down. That's too down. That's it. I thought you were going to say I just lost the game. Well, now I did, and so have you. What have you done? Look at what you've done, chat member. Do you even know? Do you have any idea? What have you done? What gives you the right? Who do you think you are? Oh shit, I'm running out of rockets. Ah! Oh! Shit! Oh, my poor little ship! Oh, God! Ah! Ah! One does not quit the game. They merely forget they are playing. A wizard is never late, Mr. Maggins. He arrives precisely whenever the fuck he wants. Where's that last tortoise then? Uh. I'm doing cartwheels. I'm pretty sure my entire crew upon this ship has vomited seven times by now at least. Precisely seven. I'm gonna make it fucking rain! Destruction! Exterminatus! Did it! It's a drone, don't worry. Whoever's piloting the drone probably hates the engineering. <laughs> temperature probe. Okay, what the hell is this thing? What is a temperature probe? Is that like is that like the, the thermometer that goes up your butt? You know what I'm talking about? Destroy the corp transmitter. Get some months. You intercepted a distress signal. This could kill me. You spot a civilian ship drifting helplessly in an asteroid field. There is no external damage, but the lights are off. Do you investigate? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> what happened to it? There could be aliens. Maybe like the entire crew got like Space madness, sickness. And they killed each other. Or ate each other alive. There's a giant spider on board. Let's investigate. The ship is empty, apart from a transponder. It was a trap! You book out of there, but the enemy knows where you are now! 
It's a trap! Well, that was my bad. Okay, time to destroy that corp transmitter. And fail miserably. Let me see what that part was, though. I want to check it out. It was Temp Probe, right? Man, there's a lot of parts in this game. So, does this, like, scan for certain temperatures and then... Oh, yeah, it does. Detection of... Oh, that's interesting. So, it can, like, determine if something is really cold in a certain area and then react appropriately, depending on that. So, like, when we come across those funny ice fields, we could, like, have a set of thrusters <laughs> or something to kick in? I don't know. I'm sure there's some creative way that's way too smart for me to figure out to use these appropriately. Let's blow shit up! I'm wondering if I hit some sort of hotkey I'm not aware of when I muted my mic that one time. Because I genuinely didn't hit anything. That was really weird. That's never happened before. Eh. Oh, I think I found her already. Should be just over that hill. Ah! Jeez, who even needs drills when you've got guns like this? Oh boy. What is the goal of this game exactly? Uh, the goal of this game is to survive. And I guess... I don't know if there's an ending, but, like, you just kind of, like, progressively go to harder and harder missions, and you build ships, and it's procedurally generated. It's... seems like it's a roguelike. That's pretty fun! It's got various scenarios for you to accomplish. With your funny little ships, you get different characters that have different loadouts and different skills. Right now, I am the miner. And I have, like, good digging skill. I can dig very well. I am the best digging person on the universe ever. I don't even need drills to dig. Look at this. Beautiful. But you are not digging. Oh, but I am, chat. Look at you. This used to be a mountain. <laughs> now, it's a valley. Fires a clock into a snowbank. I am digging. <laughs> that's, that's snow. Snow, it's not. Uh, I'm trying to like. Oh wait. Oh, they blew. They blew up my turning thrusters. Chat. I can't turn anymore. I have to use the propulsion of my rockets to turn. <laughs> I am turning purely with kinetic energy now. That's great. I can still get this. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the way. Get it. No. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fuck off. Yes. It's wide open. The hatches are open. I have one rocket left. I could do this. I've won. I've won. <laughs> this, is all, this, is, this is the worst. It may look like I am flailing about like a fish out of water, but in fact, I am winning. I am victorious this day. If only I could hit that stupid thing standing still. There, there, there. Are you winning, son? Yes. Yes. Duh. 
it. Come on. The spread on this damn thing is so large. <laughs> if only these were homing rockets. One more, chat. One more. Come on. Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> this poor, this poor drone. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Oh no, not retrieve freezer. I can't do that. Destroy the corp transmitter. I'll have to do this one. Yes, you can. There's no way I can do that. You can do the freezer. I, I, I don't have the confidence. Retriever freezer. I, I, I can't. I'm not strong enough. Let's just blow up another thing. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. That's it. That's the wrong drone for destroying a corp transmitter. Nah. It's the best one. You can get the freezer instead of using your drill drone. You just put a magnet on a missile drone. A magnet on a missile drone? I think, well, the issue is, like, my magnet is just a baby magnet. It doesn't, like, pick it up well. Like, I try to pick it up, but then it just kind of, like... It kind of, like, gets picked up and then immediately gets set back down, and it's a huge, annoying process. I need something way stronger, like a claw grip, and I know those exist in this game. I just haven't found them yet. Oh, shit. I gotta recharge. Yeah, this is a pretty good game. I could see this, like, getting... Like, this just... This isn't even really out yet. This comes out on, like, the 14th. But I could see this, like, getting a lot of cool updates. Like, they could... This is a... It's a simple enough game to understand, but it also is rather in-depth. And I feel like there's a lot they could do with it. So, yeah, I, I definitely like this. I'm very grateful they gave me keys for it. You saw the dev showing this off on Imager the other day. They did a great job. This is actually really good. This is really functional and stable. Um, it does what it sets out to do. Very effectively. I'm garbage at it, but we all knew that. Duh. Fucking did it. It wasn't graceful, but I did it. Bumper. What do bumper do? Would you say this has the Pagona seal of approval? Yeah, this has the Pagona seal of approval. Definitely. Definitely Pagona seal of approval. Let's see what's in this galaxy. Can I see? Hmm. 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 Nothing there I really care about. What is this? What is... What is that? What the fuck is that? Zero out of three. And what's here? Yo, is that fucking dynamite? Explodes when the assigned key is pressed or when damaged. Eh? That's kind of neat. Uncommon weapon upgrade with one upgrade. Oh, shit. I might want to go to this galaxy. There's a lot of cool shit here. And it's also like a completely new type of planet. Eliminate the hammerhead shawl. Let's let's do it. <gasps> no! No! The corp has caught you and opens fire. A few shots hit you and manage to penetrate the hull. Die. Fucking died. Yep. Oh well. After several violent explosions, everything turns dark and quiet. Your mission has come to a screeching halt. The Corp have achieved their goals. 
The Nimbatus will continue the drift endlessly through space as a reminder of their victory. That's bullshit. No, actually, it's it's I mean, they, they it's part of the system of how this works. Like every time you travel somewhere, you have a chance of getting attacked. And then you have like places you can find where you can repair your ship. I just didn't find any. I'm actually fucking dead. Transfer drones to sandbox game. Well, that's cool. I'm glad they have that option. I did fall for a trap. Use the programmer pilot. Oh my fucking God. I'll check that out really quick. Yeah, sure. It's getting kind of late. I was going to play Risk Risk of Rain, but... Honestly, I really like this game. <laughs> the last three hours have actually really zoomed by. Thank you again, Stray Fawn, for like sending me the game. That's very, very nice of you. They just kind of reached out to me and then gave me a couple keys. It was cool. Very nice folks. No strings attached. I'll play Risk of Rain another night. Desert, I was joking. You don't have to do that. I want to see what it is. So this is an interesting character where you don't get any keyboard inputs or like mouse inputs at all. You have unlimited parts and no deploy costs. Wireless fuel, energy and resource transfer, only autonomous drones, no manual control out. This is like the ultimate fucking challenge for this game. Every level has to be simulated. That's it, you could barely play the normal game. Well, maybe I'm more of a programmer and less of a, a pilot. Ever think about that? Maybe my brain is better at making things work for me than working them myself. Desert spell programmer, a uh, P R G A M -er. There. I already watched this, but it was kind of a cool little cutscene. I want to watch it again. <laughs> Darn! That's the corp! What a bunch of dicks! <laughs> Why would they just do that? Hey, fuck you! Fuck this spaceship in particular! I'm gonna check out what this is like. Locate the black box. So this is a basic baby mission. You just gotta find the... You have to find an item, like, that in the rubble of shit you gotta destroy. So, everything's automated with this feller. Okay, this is gonna be wild. Oh, no. This is, like, get good mode. Uh... This is gonna go bad. This is gonna go bad. Chad, I don't know if I can do this one. This is gonna be awful. So we have thrusters like that, and then I need rotational thrusters, right? Remember, Desi, you have unlimited parts. I, I know, I know, but do I have unlimited brain? That's the real question here. And the answer is definitely not. Jump thruster, what? Wait, what, what kind of, what does this do? Hold on a sec, test. I'm hit oh right, I don't have key presses. I have to find I have to get the funny little thing that inputs the buttons for me. Where is that? 
Where is where is the automated button? Uh, speed sensor, camera tracker, altimeter, distance sensor, proximity sensor. Oh, here it is. Button. Yes, button. W. Go! Oh, wait. The W output. I need to, now I need to activate the button, right? Oh, EOV, EO Valorin. Thank you for the three months sub. B. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Oh, wait, I need fuel too, right? Can't, can't go anywhere without this. And go. <laughs> Why it no go? Oh, wait, no, no, no. This, well, hold on. This is W, this is W. This is also W. This is D, and this is A. Right. Whoa! Ow! Wait. But I have con- But I- I think this is letting me break the rules, because it's actually letting me control this. Don't worry, Desert. That'll buff out. Will it really? It was a glitch. No, it's definitely letting me control it normally. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Once I get on the field, it's not going to let me actually control the ship. So that activates those. Why isn't this one activating? How does this work? Charge thruster. Like, does this thing... Okay, let's 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 set this to something else. Hold on a second. I want to see how this works, if possible, just to get an idea of what it actually does. Jump thruster, go! No? No jump thrust? But it's W, and this is W. Shouldn't it not be firing off? Hmm. Check the programming segment. Activates the output key if the input key is not pressed. Huh? Activates- oh god. If gate. Oh god, it's an if statement. Oh no! It needs to hold and release. So... Uh... Oh jeez, how do I get like a hold statement? Okay, if... Oh, if... If... Not... And... Does it? You are a programmer, right? I... Maybe? I don't know yet. Let's find out. Activates... Oh, God. Ah, oh, jeez. If the input key is not pressed, activates the output key. Wait. Oh, I get how this can work. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, like, let's say... Uh, oh boy. Oh dear. Let's, let's put on a proximity sensor, right? So, what we do is, I make it face this way. This could be like, this could be like a, 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 a thing that like activates reverse thrusters when it gets too close to a wall. Detection event. Uh... Like that. So, will this work? Oh wait, I made these not. <laughs> I gotta turn these back on. Go! Huh? It no work. So that's not how that works. Set detection to wall. Oh, it's set to enemies, right? Whoops. Uh, nothing. Danger zone. Acceleration. Three sources. Projectiles. Container. Obstacles. Terrain. Test! Eh? Okay, well, it, it detected it. 
They are not firing. Wouldn't you just need an if key? Like, if key is pressed, activate output. If key is, well, if key is pressed, activate output. Maybe it needs more range? No, they're just plain not firing. Okay, so if... Oh god, how does this fucking work? If W is pressed... Output is... I don't know, what, what? B? And then I make these B? Will that be sufficient? The learning, God, the learning, make it stop me, brain. Oh no, this is like Baba, but like way more intense. This is fascinating. No, it didn't work. Oh no, what is logic? How do I, how do I make logic? Techno logic. Techno logic. Buy it, use it, break it. Uh, I'm not sure how these work, chat. Yeah, you just buy it, use it, and then you break it, and then you keep breaking it over and over again until it works. Isn't the button causing a permanent input? Yeah, it kind of is. Hold on. Uh, detection event. So wait, now it's- well, now it's not going to press W. Wait, what? What? Huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. So when I hold W, right? And then release it, it fires. So it's, it's it is on release. So there has to be a release of W for this to work. So then, can I make it so that when this detects... Oh my fucking god. So when, <laughs> when this detects a wall, it releases W. How do I do that? Oh no. You need to set it so the jump thruster button is always active. And then have the sensor unpress the button. But then how do I... Oh god, how do I make it so that the... The, 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 the button always pressed deactivates itself. Ow! Oh! Hermit, my brain, it's expanding again. It's falling out of my skull. A not gate followed by an if. Oh my gosh. Uh, not... How do you chain these? How do you, like, group these? Is there, like, a, a way to order them? Or is this all going to be, like, global parameters? I feel like... I think these are all going to be global parameters. You have no idea what's happening. It's okay. I don't either. I am just... I am just smashing rocks together and hoping to invent the wheel. Does it? Didn't you learn how to program in middle school? I, I, I dabbled in, uh, uh, Counter Strike 1.6. That's an old programming language. You probably haven't heard of it. Uh, not gate. Try connecting one gate to the other and see if that works. Okay, so we connected these gates together. So here's a not gate, here's an if gate. So not gate, activates the output key if the input key is not pressed. So if, <laughs> oh shit, if the input key is W, output is B, and then 
Uh, if <laughs> showing how smart I am right now is so hard. <laughs> and if the if gate activates the output key, uh, just reverse them, right? Yeah, that that definitely. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I am a I am I am a programmer and that is definitely how that works. Absolutely. Yeah, look at that. Look at <laughs> <Yeah, it's all. laughs> Yo, it's like Christmas tree lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but now it detected the wall and now it really wants to go there. It's detecting the thrusters. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the idea is to keep a button pressed until a wall is detected. So if the beeps know, the button stops being pressed. Okay, how do I fix this? How do I fix this? Do we have a smooth Pagona emote? Pagona smile. What are the other logic gates? This is actually a lot more complex than Besiege. Oh my god, this is actually kind of impressive. Uh, there's a NOR gate? <laughs> oh no! An OR gate? An AND? <laughs> this is... A NAND? <laughs> Zor! <laughs> X-Nor! Yo, ain't that the villain from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> ain't that the sword from Mario RPG? <laughs> On off switch, logic connector. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, provides wireless connection to the main part. Key events will be forward. Okay, so I think that's how you pass logic forward. Oh my god. Yeah, didn't you have to use Geno Whirl on Xnor in the. <laughs> 29999 damage to him? Desert, it should be easy. First, you have to invent the universe. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to, like. I'm gonna need a book on how to do that. Muncho, thank you for the 30 month sub. Thank you, dude. Oh man. There's more. Oh. oh. <laughs> a trigger impulse! An impulse giver? Oh my god. They thought of everything. Long impulse. Oh my god. Chat. Chat, I don't think I'm going to be able to be the robot. There's an RNG gate! Holy fuck. Oh, it also has color LEDs. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It, hey. You got, got cool lights, though. <laughs> Every ship needs these. What? Wait. How do I, uh... Red. What can make this B? This will look cool. <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> My eyes! It's like one of those dead pixel remover programs. Here, you got a dead pixel on your screen? Just, uh, here, take the stream, take the stream, and, uh, just move it over one of these funny squares, and, uh, it'll get rid of it for you. That actually kind of works sometimes, like, putting, like, a flashing color like that over it to make it, like, fire on and off constantly until it fixes itself. Yeah, those programs have worked for me before. It can, it, it's not a dead pixel, it's a stuck pixel. It just makes it, it forces it to fire and change, like, constantly, and sometimes it actually does work. I've had it work before. It's not all the time, but it can. I, I think this is, I think this might be a bit out of my league, fellas. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. 
Dynamic thruster? Oh my god. Afterburners? <laughs> what is happening to it? <laughs> I... I... I don't... I think... I think it's in pain. I think it's in pain, chat! Kill me! Kill me! God. End its suffering. Nice trials of Mata voice. Oh, this? The spooky ghost voice they used in that game? Yeah. <laughs> Desert, please. You just said the back thrusters to go in the center is off, and the front thruster to go in the center is on. I mean, it's it's alive. It's moving. I don't see the problem. I think, honestly, this is the best ship ever designed. Try with gravity. Low. Normal. High. With lots of air resistance. Oh, wait. Here we go. No air resistance. Go! Whoa! Speed! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, I want to see that again. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go! Oh, honey, you broke you broke your funny little your your little headlights. Oh, oh dear. Here it goes. It's picking up speed. It's picking up speed. I want to see this game like in the hands of someone who knows actually what the fuck they're doing. Duh. God. Oh wait. You know what? No borders here. Be free! Be free! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! 88 miles per hour! No limits! Unlimited power! Does it turn the borders on? Oh god, it's it 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 can't be contained, Chad. It's way long gone. <sighs> oh, the fuel's dead. Ha. Well, there's no air resistance, so it's just going to keep going forever. It's it's going to never stop. <laughs> Turn on air. Yeah, that that will stop. <laughs> Okay, so how do I do this? What what am I doing? I'm looking for a uh What if I what if I set this to like W and W, right? This is like a, a redundant loop, right? Yeah, that doesn't work. What if I set it to B and W? Well, that's the same thing. Oh, Norix, what's up, dude? Thanks for 25 months, man. Someone said my name and it's on me. Norix, you would love this game. This is actually really fun. I'm playing in a mode where you have to program your ship. You can't use controls like keyboard controls to pilot it. You have to completely program it, and I am struggling so fucking hard. <laughs> so if W is pressed, B will then be also pressed. And then when B is pressed, W is pressed. And then when W is pressed, the afterburners will kick in. But when B is pressed, the jump thrusters will also kick in. And then there's... I might as well just set these to W, and then these are the thrusters, and, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is top engineering. I, uh, I'm, I fancy myself as a little bit of a, 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 a rocket scientist. <laughs> Speed! <laughs> You need coding help? No, I'm fine. <laughs> look at my look at my child, my beautiful boy. 
<laughs> He's alive! You're doing great, Sweaty. You're doing great. Oh, and he's out of fuel. Oh, my God. And dead. It's still vibrating. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can't be the robot, chat. I can't be the robot. I don't. I'm not good enough at this game or programming. What is the weapon workshop? What? What the fuck is all this? Oh man, there's a lot. Upgrades? Oh shit, there's like a whole skill tree in this thing? Oh my god, this game's really in depth. Every time I think I've seen everything in this game, there's just another lair to peel behind. They really worked hard on this! What the f- Devs! You've made a really good game! Oh my god! How long did this take to make? Desert, be the robot! I- I can't! I have to pick a different character, this is not gonna fucking work! We've been stuck in the new drone, like, screen for a long time. Here, let's see how this fares on the planet. Let's see what happens. Surely this should accomplish one teeny weeny mission. Go, my child! The universe is your oyster! Uh, crack it open and grab some pearls. I, I don't know. He's like, fuck this. <laughs> He's turning on me! <laughs> the robot is aggressive! They turn on their creators. Oh no. I have no manual override chat. I have no manual override. Why have you made me? Father, why have you created me? I don't want to live. <laughs> Good lord! Father, why is existence pain? I love how it just immediately goes back to the ship. Oh no. What is my purpose? You fetch butter. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, epic Rick and Morty reference. I, I, I can't, I can't be this character. I can't be this character. This one's fucked. This one is fucked. I have to be someone else. That's it. That's the funniest shit ever. Thank you. Okay, we were the miner. I'm probably not going to play for too much longer. I just kind of want to see what the other characters were. So, like, is there one that's... The heavyweight's more combat-focused, right? This one gets, like, a sh plasma shotgun. Resource collector. Oh, that would be useful. Yeah, how come you didn't have a resource collector, asshole? You're a miner! You should have had one! All you had was a bullshit magnet! Do the scientist? The researcher? They also only get a stupid little magnet. Oh, but they get the resource collector. Plas- <laughs> The plasma- th <laughs> Plasma flamethrower! The drill collected stuff. It did, kind of. Yeah, you know what? Oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. The drill does collect resources. All logic parts for the engineer. So the engineer is just like a step below programmer, which is... just absolutely way too much for me. What does the pilot get? It, the pilot gets spikes and laser beams. Gets big fuel tanks, though. Look at that. Let's try pilot. I want to go fast. Here, we'll build... We'll build a basic baby ship.
Create new drone. Okay. So... I don't know. Laser beam here, laser beam there. Uh, vacuum thing here. Large fuel tank, booster tank. What's the difference? The... Oh, this one has way more fuel. Ooh, the large fuel tank has a refill rate. Look, chat. They do refill. Refu ref the fuel refills. <laughs> Refull. Refull. The, the fill. The circle one seemed to have refill. Yeah. So you're not completely fucked if you use that. Put like that there, and then... Like... We could put like... Big ramming spikes out in front. To crash into bullshit. A little resource collector thing back here. This is really cool. I actually, damn, this game's great. And then we're going to need ammo. But we can't fly without thrust. So we get little baby thrusters and afterburners. Huh. Lots of little baby thrusters. That's it. I don't know. That looks radioactive. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly safe. Wasn't there like some kind of like facial cream in the 19 like 60s or something that was literally just like radioactive isotopes that claimed to be good for your skin? I swear this was a thing. It was like a big controversy. You mean thormium tonic water? <laughs> yeah, I think that was it. Uranium toothpaste. Oh my fucking God. Bro, we have evolved. We have evolved from monkeys. Evolution. Do you think, do you think that had, like, lasting repercussions? <laughs> Me? Monkey. You? Gangaga. Let's see. Left mouse. That'll be W. Well, wait a minute. Afterburners should be... Shouldn't I make the afterburners, like... What if I made it, like, the shift key? So... Oh, whoa. WHOA! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Zoom! <laughs> okay! Does it? you need more spikes. Jesus, that's really fast. Oh man, the pilot's awesome. Holy fuck. Okay, we gotta balance this because it's like imbalanced right now. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's very fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that one. Let's see. Where is the imbalance happening? It's like kind of like shifting towards one side. Oh, that's why, because one of the thrust. What are you doing? You are not W, you are D. It's still doing it. Wait, what's... It's because one of these thrusters is going off now. You are S. You are S. You are S. P. L. M. N. O. Q. Ah! To infinity and beyond! This is sick, dude. I like it. Do the racetrack option. All right. <laughs> Try the planet. Where is the planet? Ow! Found the planet! To infinity and beyond! 
Da. I'm having way too much fun just making stupid bullshit in this game and not actually playing. It's the hallmark of a good game, honestly. If your creator is fun to play and you've done a good job, in my opinion, this is really, like, easy to experiment with, and I think that's what its strength is. Fucking laser beams, bro! <laughs> I hope this game does well. These devs does definitely have put in the work for it. And I'm not just saying that because they gave me a bunch of keys. Like, I genuinely really like this. Kind of want to play more Besiege 2 now. Got the box! This is my box! This is kind of why, like... I feel like I would really enjoy Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts 2. Because, um... It's a similar game concept, but, like, with... Banjo-Kazooie characters, it's literally this. That This is what Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was. If only they would fucking port that game. I would love to stream it. Because I don't have an Xbox. Which also means I can't play Lost Odyssey, which is another game I would really like to play someday. Yeah, Panutes had a really good Nuts and Bolts stream. I would highly recommend watching that if you want to see, like, someone who genuinely enjoys that game and what you can do in it. That's a good stream series. Ow! He's doing fine, by the way. He's doing great. People inevitably always ask. <laughs> Living the best life. Yeah, he had a really good video on Nuts and Bolts, too, that was rather, like, very informative and kind of, like, set the record straight because for a long time people really just hated that game and just based on like memes they saw and i mean i get that that's easy to fall into but it's a perfectly fine game it's just not a banjo kazooie game but the f game itself is fun let's uh let's save this ship and take it for a test drive. Burning fuel might be throwing off your balance. If this game is that in depth, that's impressive. Just take it easy. Let's mosey gently, gently. This ship handles really well, actually. I. This is a lot better than the ship I was using last run. Gotta destroy that corp transmitter. And I'm out of bullets. Yeah, if they had it like clearly established that Nuts and Bolts was going to be a spin-off game, I feel like people would have responded to it better. But before then, we had like years of Banjo 3E previews. And, like, that just wound up never happening. So I understand why people were upset with it when it came out. I still feel like the game itself was great. But it's definitely not what people wanted or expected. I st but they did a... What they made was good, though. It just... It could have been, like, any other character. And I feel like people would have responded to it fine. They, what, their biggest mistake was just using the wrong characters <laughs> for the game. That was their biggest crime. The speed is so hard to control! <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Priest, priest wishes. I can't even like, get back down to the planet, please. Ah! I'm yeeting myself into orbit. Oh god, my poor drone. This didn't this didn't go well at all. Also, this laser won't fire. Oh, because I have no more ammo. I destroyed my own ammo. Let's try that again. Let's be more careful this time. Desert, it costs so much to use this ship. It's fun though. 
Everything will be Daishobu, don't worry. Just let- just- just enjoy the science. Ow! Enjoy the science! Ah! Ah! Uh. Duh! Duh! <laughs> what am I fucking doing? I think I need better weapons on this thing. It's not working. Oh, no, no. This is all wrong. We need more ammo. And, like, centered guns. And then we put the spikes on top of the gun, so yeah, so we can ram into shit. And, uh, like that, and like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does it, you need more speed. I, I don't think we need more speed. I'm gonna like, rein it in a little bit too. Yeah, that'll work. Go crazy, go stupid. Go! Duh. <laughs> Wait, fuck. Ah. Uh. Houston, the eagle has landed. Uh. That worked a little too well. Ship's fast! Ah! Maybe I can just defeat it by like ramming into it. Who knows? Unfortunately, I've lost all my other forms of propulsion for turning. Ah! Wait! Hold on, there's still a chance! Ah! I haven't heard your opinion on the new Twitch layout yet. Honestly, I... This is gonna sound weird, but... I... I almost never actually use... the Twitch website in itself, unless it's the dashboard. Almost all of my functionality is purely in chatty. And... That's just a preference, not because I don't like the website. It's just what I'm used to. I guess there is a new layout. I've heard people talk about it. I... Uh, I don't know. Some of their changes I haven't been a, fra a, fa a, fran a fan of. Uh, I still think the dashboard is missing functionality that... was... present in the legacy version that has not been restored yet. I still feel like it's way, way less like ergonomic than it was in the past. Uh, I'm still very frustrated about that, but they are clearly not going to change it, so complaining doesn't really do anything. So, whatever. I mean, there are actually worse website designs out there. Uh, Twitter is abhorrent, uh, and YouTube is just garbage. I can't believe how terrible YouTube is now. YouTube keeps making itself fucking worse. I can't even edit my shit in tabs anymore. Like, they took that away. What the fuck are they doing? I have to, like, edit each individual video, like, one by one now, instead of, like, doing them all in a big spread. Absolute morons. I don't know, like, why all these websites are suddenly, like, changing themselves to be worse functionally, but... It would be nice if they all fucking stopped. If it works, don't fix it. What are you doing? This game? This game works. I think this ship I just made functions better than all of Twitter's website. Your spaceship looks like a shitty broom. Hell yeah! Around the world, and 30 seconds flat. 
I understand innovating and stuff, but you don't need to always innovate upon things that don't require innovation. Like, sometimes things work the way they work because that's literally what works and it doesn't need to be different. And changing it seriously just detracts from what was working in the first place, and that's constantly what these updates seem to do, and that's why... I edit the living fuck out of my Twitter HTML so it could actually resemble something functional. Like, goddamn. I'm so pissed off that YouTube took away legacy mode too. They they recently did that, and it's just like why? It fucking worked! What's the point of that? I understand they want mobile users, but, like, on the editor side of things, no one's editing dashboards or, like, uh, in-depth, like, analysis of their videos or content on their phone. No one's doing that. Who, whoever's doing that is... That's so not, like, a significant portion. Most people do that on their computer. It's just bizarre. I don't understand it. What is Desert talking about? UI changes on websites that I upload my content to that are making it functionally worse. Twitch has actually been fine. Um, I mean, I, I just don't like the new dashboard update. Everything else is okay. Twitch is, like, actually great compared to everyone else, in my opinion. The Konami code thing, that was weird. I, I I later found out that was because, like, they were beta elements not fully implemented yet, and that's why they hit it behind a really funny code. I still feel like that should have been publicly available and not, like, a secret. It was cute, but it's also, like, this is kind of, like, something I take a little bit seriously, so I would appreciate it if we didn't turn it into a game. I mean, I'm playing games, but my dashboard isn't a game. My dashboard is how I interact with everything. But that's, that's, that's nothing now. I don't care about that anymore. I care way more about, like, just YouTube being terribly non-functional. Every single day that passes, it just gets worse and worse. I'm just kind of, like, fucking around now, honestly, and ranting. Yeah, font changes are always really annoying, too. I, I, th that's visually hard to get used to. I think I already beat this mission anyways. Um... But yeah, hey, uh, ranting aside about unrelated bullshit, this game... pretty fucking good. I know I'm, like, messing around with it now, not accomplishing anything, but I'm just kind of having fun. Um, I probably should have been playing in sandbox mode, but hey, uh, it's been like four hours, so I'm gonna wrap this up now. Thank you for hanging out for the stream. Thank you to the Nimbata Stebs at Strayfawn Studios for giving me this game and, you know, plenty of keys for it. It's very, very kind of you, and, um, your game is great. Seriously, it's really fucking good, and I would tell you otherwise if I had problems with it. I can't- I can't think of a single thing! I really disliked. It's good. Neat. Looking forward to what else you're gonna do with this. And thank you guys for hanging out. Ah. <laughs>